Hello everyone, uh, welcome uh, after uh, a break of two months uh, because uh, Neko had to move houses <laughs> and uh, after that, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, we are back uh, with uh, what we've promised with uh, the Infernal Machine, uh, the PC version on uh, 4K, we'll play it tonight, welcome blue screen and uh, we made the, the setup. I hope everything is uh, fine for you there. Uh, for the ones that uh, are for the first time here, we'll. Uh, <coughs> uh, one moment. Uh, one moment. Yeah, I have a, a small problem. There is something uh, most likely behind. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now it's okay. I had uh, yeah. I had opened the the stream and <laughs> it was talking uh, on me. <laughs> okay, so yeah. after after uh, the two months uh, period, now we are starting uh, the game, the Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine uh, on uh, a retro PC, but uh, running on 4K. We're playing casually the game. But uh, we'll have insights from uh, the Kovic and uh, Neko Jones regarding the uh, strategies for speedrunning, even if I will not be able to do all of them. I think that we have uh, not that many glitches on the PC version, no? Mm, definitely less than N64. Yeah. Okay. But more uh, than Game Boy Color, since I don't know if there even is a glitch in Game Boy Color. Uh, no, not really. Anyways, I also have the strategy guide with me, and it also has for each um, level, it has a small introduction it wrote. The Canyon Lands are merely a warm up for Indiana Jones. Other than snakes and the danger of drowning, if you don't keep an eye on your air supply while swimming, Indy doesn't face any real threats except falling too far. This level is where you can learn to be Indy, practice your jumps, climbs and whip swings, and polish your timing and techniques now because the real danger comes soon enough. Also, get used for get used to find the ten secret hidden treasures that are hidden in every nook and cranny. The money Accumulates finding rarities comes in handy later. Okay, uh, we'll do all treasures as uh, to work. we decided before the stream, <laughs> and uh, as we did uh, all the other games. By the way, we, you can find uh, on the channel uh, play playlist for every game that uh, we did, every, every version of uh, Infernal Machine, the GameCube, and the N64. And um, I will let you no. comment from now on and uh, try to in, advance in the game. <laughs> in the bookkeeping part, um, Monotok and House did this level in any percent in 4 minutes 44 seconds. Would be funny if it's also 44 milliseconds. Uh, and in all treasures, um, let me tell a bit of the history uh, of all treasures on PC. Um, before I say the actual record, is um, back when um, I joined the uh, speedrunning community for uh, this game, uh, there was no speedrunning uh, of all treasures on PC. And I joined the Discord and I said, like, Let's do also kind of a hundred percent and speedrunning all treasures. Now what? So um, one of my first runs was this level uh, in all treasures, and which was nine minutes fifty-five seconds, and um, I submitted that one, and it didn't take long before that guy there, <laughs> Kovic, um, had beaten me with a run he did. A few days before I submitted my run, and I totally forgot he did that run until he posted it and Molotov verified hmm. it. 
thing looks flippable. But um, I have to say that um, that run is already obsolete since he had beaten me um, with like 20 seconds, uh, give or take. But now the record is, um, if you ignore a few seconds, nine minutes for all treasures. That's a, that's a good record, I think, because it's the only one that beats the Germans. Because Molotov did his own run, and I managed to, to beat that one. So I think it's a pretty strong record. Um, Molotov's record is 9 minutes 14 seconds, and it's uh, one of those rare runs on the leaderboards that doesn't hey. have a YouTube video or a Twitch. Um, it links to uh, his Google Drive. <laughs> that's, okay, that's weird. Uh, okay, now I'm noticing, Klamath, you seem to not be, you not have enabled uh, running by default, so I think you have to hold shift all the time, right? Uh, how I do that? I can do from the uh, It's in the options, yeah, and it's uh, the yellow thing, gameplay options, and there is default to run. Uh, let's see. Option. Uh, it's, okay. it's really tiny because of the 4K, but yeah. I think you found it. Also, um, chat is asking um, what difficulty you are playing on. I assume default. default. We just saw it. Yeah, it's default. So something like senior. I think it's yeah. four out of six. I wouldn't really suggest playing on Doctor Jones. It doesn't. Really, it doesn't make the game more fun. Unless you are a speedrunner and you want some extra challenge. Well, I've never. I never attempted it. So. I really can't tell what the effect would be. I think in this level it that wouldn't matter too much since uh, most changes uh, compared to easy are damage based. And there are, correct me if I'm wrong, there is, apart from falling and drowning, there is only one enemy in this level. Yeah, there's only the snake, and there, there's two of them. Yeah. True, two snakes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking about all the all the times where you run past enemies, and that's where you might have problems on Dr. Jones, because you would die instantly. I mean, not really instantly, but like in like four hits from uh, max I, health. I still have anything up there? Uh, scenery. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying to... attention to the treasures. I think you should have three now. Oh. No. Yeah, three. Three. Uh, and the and it's easy to, born, to look. The diamond and yeah, the three. gold war. Okay. We are good. <laughs> I didn't miss anything yet. <laughs> yeah, Chris is talking from experience. Uh, apparently, I'm playing on Dr. Jones. Yeah, the quick save abuse is, um... <laughs> Alright, we, we gotta talk about that in the Sanctuary, because we actually have save load abuse in the speedrun now, in this game, which is terrific. That's the first I hear about it. Ah, you, you're not aware of the any percent strategy in Sanctuary? No, I have been focusing too much on the game by color version. Ah, okay. You're in for a treat. Oh, by the way, there's a treasure here in the water that's different from the N64. I think that's the first instance we have of the treasures being in different locations. That's something they did. These locations are technically original. Oh, man. Hold on. I, I wish it was, like, um, fast turning in the water. That would help so much in speedruns. Fast turning everywhere. Yeah, you can turn fast with, with uh, what is it, uh, holding shift. control or shift, yeah, while you're moving around. I'm gonna assume default key bindings here. 
Because they're yes, the yes, pain in the ass to change. But it do, uh, it doesn't quick rotate in water. Uh, we have treasure here. I don't remember. Yeah. It's a bit dark. Darker than... It's interesting. Uh, it's interesting that you say that, because overall the PC version is definitely brighter than N64. Not having to deal with analog signal helps. But also the lighting system is totally different. So on the N64 they had some sort of dynamic-ish yeah. system with uh, point lights. I believe heavily helped by the system's uh, RCP. Here all the lighting is sector-based. So the map is divided to sectors, and they're mapping lights to vertices. And so you can see things like that when you're in one part of the level geometry and you climb a wall and suddenly indie swaps colors like this. It makes the game look more colorful than the N64 version, I think. True. Uh, that's uh, if you would have missed a treasure. Uh, climate. Uh, okay, so we go the back in the water, no? Yeah. And just because somebody in chat is saying it, W is roll. Mm, not by default. I thought so. It was. Um... Anyways, not seen time. A cutscene I know by heart, almost. Funny how I didn't spot, how I didn't spot this before. If this is the prize, if this is the prize sure. I lose my grand for Where sure. Are Where are the priceless Where artifacts? The spinning idols, the crowns of kings. Eggs. Come on. Good news never travels that fast. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's see. Which is roll default? <laughs> it should be uh, Y or Z depending on your QWERTY. True. Okay. Is Z. <laughs> Look what I found. Um. Funny thing. Um, the German keyboards um, and the Belgian keyboards aren't too different. Oh, oh, oh hold up. Can you 180, there's 180. one more treasure. Beep, 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 <laughs> beep. Treasure alert, treasure alert. It's certainly not in that crevasse. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, oh, Kovic, we are challenged. By Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, don't underestimate speedrunners. I, mean, I should have enough reps. The problem is I haven't played for some time, and usually, like when I'm say running the N64 version, I just go away during the cutscene. I, I I know most of it. I think I can fill in the gaps. I maybe it will just instantly pop into my head the moment I see it. But right now, I, I, if you ask me to, to recite it, I, I probably wouldn't know. I would just have a blank. It somehow starts with uh, Sophia Hadgood walking out of the helicopter. It's like, Sophia Hadgood, it has been a while. And then they start about um, what India is doing with pottery shards. And then it starts going to Volotnikov, and then the Tower of Babylon. I think it's somewhere in in that dialogue range. And it's one of the longest cutscenes uh, in the game, too. If I um, remember correctly. Yeah, top three for sure. Hmm. Probably top two. <laughs> Not now sure if top one. Now you should have nine treasures. Yep. Now 
Now, we have been talking about some random things. Um, the speed running strats for any percent in this level. Oh man, it's so fun. The dead planes are annoying as fuck, but um, abusing the chalk. But yeah, since it was the start of the game, and it's not that easy to pull off with the, the death planes there, I didn't really bring it up. It's but we can enjoy the... chocolate. Ah, and... no. Uh, speaking of yeah. uh, quick save, which is the quick save? <laughs> F5. F5. Okay. And you can match the F5, but it's unlimited quick save. At least in uh, in this one we have uh, a full uh, all treasure run. For N64 there isn't one. Uh, speaking about the all treasure run, take a wild guess who has done that. <laughs> um... <laughs> in um, four hours, forty-eight minutes, and twenty-nine seconds. Yeah, that was a lovely afternoon. Yeah. It was a nice stream too. It was too bad I wasn't there. I have seen the whole replay. Um, just for the complete bookkeeping, um, the current world record for the any percent is uh, 3 hours 31 minutes and um, 52 seconds. Again, take a wild guess by who. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, How are you switching the weapons? I'm interested. With point. <laughs> the point key. Ah, uh, you're oh doing God. linear switching. You can use the numbers on your keyboard to... Uh, as weapon slots. Yeah, but I think um, you better reload your quick save, man. And nah, just heal up. Doesn't matter. Healing up? Wait, what healing items? I mean, I just meant anti poison. He's not gonna die now. It's impossible True. unless he falls down. And um, forgets the treasure. The amount of times I have tried to backroll out of this crevasse just to not have the ladder climbing sequence and no, always what? land on the lower platform. Uh, uh, backwards jump is better. Yeah, because uh. backward jumps are quite broken. Okay. Except that's a that's a. PC exclusive move right there, backwards jump. And it's also broken. Why is it broken? Um, Guys. Number... <laughs> no. Oh yeah. Fuck it. Um, oh no. What now? Hello. Hello, Indy. Hello, Indy. Been a while. What I say, west? what brings you Some out west? Psychic premonition about treasure, uh, about treasure I should have found? Look at these wonderful parchers. A wonderful parcher. It's the new thinking in archaeology. It's a new thinking in archaeology. Find, find some worthless debris, analyze, analyze it, understand prehistory. Kind of novel, don't you, think? Novel, don't you There's think? There's an iron curtain coming down on Europe. No, I, <laughs> I forgot. There's an iron curtain on the the Russians are taking over. I read the papers. For a real chance to be noble, we need your help. Who is we? When I joined during the war, it's the ISS. Now it's the CIA. Is that what you're up to these days? Mm. Soviet sabotage, Is that what you're atomic secrets? up to these days? So it's advertised. Ah, fuck it. It's my job to worry about more uh, and unusual more activity. Unusual activity. The the like the stick side in the, the Russians. Babylon. Baghdad. Babylon. Remember your Bible? Remember That's, your where, Bible? That's where the mortal raised the Tower of Babel well, to heaven. This does look like the ruins of a Yeah, the I can't keep up with the speed of the cutscene, but. Very good, Dr. Jones. You're looking at the brainchild of one good. 
Gennady Volodnikov of the Leningrad Physics Institute. He thinks there's I never properly checked out the photo to make sure that it is actually in the starting area. In hyperspace, quirky theoretical stuff. Now what's a guy like that doing in Babylon? Not sure. All we really know is he Hello there, is sweet. And why isn't the world laughing? Indy, suppose the tower has some deadly force no one else ever transparent. Something as about dangerous as nuclear their love for this game. And the Babylonians tore it down for reasons not discussed in the good book. Exactly. It's an amusing theory, but as you can see, moving lips. Of my own. You don't think I flew out here from Washington? <laughs> also, really OPC exclusive. This came from the Russian dig site. Uh, somebody made a mistake. This looks like part of a and steam the engine. quick saves and quick loads are somewhat century. PC There's exclusive no as well. It doesn't we use a checkpoint thing. system. It's 2,600 years old. Really? Regular, plain old save. How'd you find it? Come on, Indy, with the CIA. But with the difference, it doesn't have like a checkpoint system. Like if you don't save, you are and die. You go back to your lost save. What I am trying to say, in more modern terms, it, it doesn't have automatic saves. It only has manual saves. Unless you count the level starts and end things. Uh, to put the, the saves into perspective between PC and consoles, if you tried to save a PC save into the N64 controller packs, the quote unquote memory cards, yeah, you would need about twelve of them. That's um Yeah, PC saves are large because they just didn't need to optimize it, so they saved everything in the level and then reloaded it back. Babylon. A lot of, lot of much and we get not much else. Why what is the Russians taking up? Um, so, I shall not always read unless it's uh, interesting, but Sophia Habgood's tale of the Russian communists in the Tower of Babel is more than enough to set Indiana Jones on a direct course for Babylon. Volotnikov already established that they guarded by scores of battle-hardened Soviet troops. Not like the demo saying Nazis, but oh well. Um, but the Russians don't seem to have found what they are looking for yet. In his exploration of King... I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. Um, oh. I'm not gonna re-continue. One of our most quoted scenes in the Discord is coming up right now. Do you know which one, Kovic? I'm not sure why, I mean, which quote, but uh, I like one quote out of this this dialogue. Yeah, same here. And I think we are the talking about the exact same quote. reminds Comrade Dr. Volodnikov that socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Come on, Blue, join us. What is it? They think I'm out here searching for God? Possibly. I'm just decoding the message, sir. I am searching for Marduk, a creature of the Babylonians worship as a creature of the Babylonians worship as a god. But he doesn't live in heaven, plane. just on another plane. What kind of plane, sir? One airplane. Not airplane, you idiot. Not an airplane, it's you idiot. It's another dimension of reality. Deuterium. When questions of ideology arise, they often conceal doubts about methods and results. In four ministers, we are making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story is waiting in the room of the tablets. That's where we'll find out what happened to the tower and to the machine Marduk inspired. We are close. It's a matter of days. And damn the ideology! Now, uh, I forget to say the bookkeeping, and this level has been finished. Oh, hold on. Um, before you go down, if you shimmy over, um, you actually see a cutscene that's very easily missed.
if I remember how the, that cutscene works correctly, if you drop down now, Quite yeah, there we go. The Russians have going here. Makes me jealous. I don't want to miss cutscenes. <laughs> I better steer clear. Indeed, blue screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> No, no, no. He means like mashing F5 like crazy. Uh, with like... him around, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is also one of the levels where the first treasure you pick up is kind of very l somewhat light in the level. Yeah, there's no no early treasure here. Yeah, you are thinking N64 now. Yeah, exactly. The treasure isn't here. I know about that. Ah! <laughs> so, the bookkeeping is... Um... In the Discord, we always said, like, um, the German invasion of um, this column of the any percent. And this is one of the levels where the Germans have a very strong grip on the any percent. Um, by Helian Mo, in 6 minutes and 17 seconds, uh, the any percent record is currently the world record. And the All Treasures is done by the Kovic, of course, in 15 minutes and 33 seconds. Actually, when I, when I say the times for the All Treasures PC, um, for the PC, it's apart from Palawan Lagoon, always by the Kovic. <laughs> I used to have a full sweep. I used to have a full sweep on the game by color, Kovic. <laughs> ah, damn. Press H. Unless Provided you, you bought any healing I No, I don't have it. <laughs> oh. Well, if you hurry up and jump across too late now, uh, there's uh, there was a uh, an antidote to pick up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's also a difference um, depending on your difficulty. It's the uh, worth of the healing items placed on the map. Like, if I remember correctly, there is like um, a healing um, not cabinet, but like uh, a little tin um, and it's ah. changed by a tube of, um, well, cream, healing cream, in the sense on higher difficulties. Uh, F7 is load? F8. F8. Okay. Yeah. Like, going through there and killing those... Spiders or um, piranhas, I think it, no, spiders. It doesn't bound to anything, you don't get any more score or something like that. Uh, I need to drop here, no? Yeah, I don't know if yeah. there's a grabbable ledge. Okay. Oh, there is, nice. There is, but it's going around, but. You can. It's always fun for us to shoot those uh, fighters while they are going down. You can't. Oh yeah, you have to. You have to free aim for that. You need to. You yeah. need for the the bullet to collide with the spider, really yeah. precisely. But it's possible to kill it. But since this game does automatic aiming for combat, and it doesn't aim while they're descending, it's really hard to hit them. Now he has woken up the gods. Oh, he got a double kill. Nice. 
Barrels are OP. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you better pick up those Tokar Fs as soon as you can. Because fighting with the revolver is deadly. But not for them. A <laughs> gun. Yeah, that gun that just dropped is very OP. Um, Govich, Watch who this. is gonna tell Chris? First aid. Just, just. Uh, we need to. Uh, yeah. Uh, the the chalk is the source of all the. Uh, the speedrun goodness, but uh, and the we need an opportunity to use it. Because the thing about tricks in this game is... Um, better way. is I'm sorry? Meroy. No. Um, I'm sorry, Nubstoom. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. The first level is also one where we have to use a chalk. I suppose I can explain because before we get there. Hey. We so, are most I'm likely a stream or two later. Yeah. So you can use the chalk in in a way that you you roll forwards down some hole deep hole and then you hold the the chalk button the hotkey which is K and then as Indy passes the wall facing it he will use the chalk on it and that for inexplicable reasons means that Indy will not die from anything that happens to be down the pit including things like lava so you can walk on lava oh oh yeah in um i always switch those two up uh in temple of volcano we will have another chance uh i yep, hope i didn't that one miss is... any treasure no 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 no, no, no. Uh, the first treasure okay. is in the uh is after the truck Exactly. Oh my god, the track. I remember one. This one. <laughs> From the N64 run. Yeah, but quick save is, uh, is a helpful thing now. Also rolling. Yeah, backwards rolling and... Uh... I mean, if even just forwards rolling is so useful. Yeah. For platforming what? sections with small what? jumps. Hold on. What is the guy that what? What? He's camping. Sh shooting you through the tents. What? How in the glitch? <clears throat> uh -huh. He was trying to pathfind towards you, but kit. instead of turning around, he was trying to go through the tent. That was a wild cat walking behind you, Clement. Uh... What am I missing here? <laughs> uh, not too much. First aid. Look what I found. First aid. The only tool that doesn't have a lot of purpose, in my opinion, is the lighter. There are not too much moments, apart from what I can think from the top of my head, um, at the end of uh, River to um, unlight the candles uh, <laughs> where you actually need the lighter 
And there's also Olmec. And that's it, I think. Olmec? Yeah, in the snake pyramid, you need to open yeah, the yeah. doors. True, true. I was thinking of another moment, but... Um... And isn't there a moment in Return to Peru? Mandatory? I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. It, it's to find the treasure more easily. I completely forgot about an obscure strat Your you can do here to, the checkpoint. to save, I don't know how many seconds, maybe 10, something really insignificant like that. Uh, there is also a very, um, sorry that I interrupted, there is also, at the other side there is an anti-venom kit, and if you turn around, um, to, not that way. Um, you see that ledge over there? There is, at the end of that ledge, there are some, uh, healing items. Uh, are we... Are we playing all healing items as well? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I know... I don't think I know them all. What's this? But I know a lot of them. Medicinal herbs. The location. Mm. Medicinal herbs. That, that could be a category. All for itself. All healing items. All items. Just all healing items. So you have to spend all your cash on healing items and you cannot use it. <laughs> that would be insane. I'm still waiting for like... Um, I know it's... To do it complete and legit, it's impossible. But a damageless run. How insane would that be? Right, on PC, impossible. On N64, technically possible. Unless we find on PC a way to um, completely clip um, through some doors in the mines. Because it's one moment in uh, in the mines where that makes it impossible. Oh, uh, okay, maybe from this distance, do a standing jump, small jump. Ah, no, a roll anyway. Okay, ah, roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Yeah, blue. I also think. Um, then grabbing all items and spending all your money then um, would take five hours. I think it would be, take more than five hours. Yeah. Because you have to do all treasures and then you also have to collect all the extra shit. And, a lot and you skills. cannot use any healing items so that cuts down strats and you have to and play more safe. And a lot of skips will uh, screw you over, since uh, in Tomb, where we do shock glitch, you would miss two healing items. I always found it interesting how in LucasArts, all their games are basically the same engine that they just used duct tape on to put new features that they needed for each game. So, so the same thing is powering this game and Dark Forces 2 and Grim Fandango and you know anything they did in the 90s. Really? I didn't knew. Yeah, it's, it's all a big the same basis. And then they duct tape features to it based on what game they were making. And annoyingly, they then renamed it, so this is called Jones Engine, and in Dark Forces it's Sith Engine, and in Grim Fandango it's Grim Engine.
but it's the same shit, basically. Uh, Clement, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, chat will go nuts. What have we here? Some medicine. Now I'm just thinking whether What's this? Escape from Monkey Island is also the same engine. Is the same engine with uh, Green Fandango. So in that case, it's also the same engine as this game. Yeah, because you have uh, the... Um... You know what? Uh, Clement, uh, do a quick save. Press F10. And type in, make me a pirate. All together. We don't have the no. bazooka yet. Yeah, then again, but just, just to make a point, <laughs> like, yeah, it's the same engine. <laughs> yeah, but this is Guybrush from uh, Curse of the Monkey Island, which was uh, hand-drawn 2D. <laughs> nice. So he's got, <laughs> he's got the big nose and the really small legs. But yeah, I, I mean, since you made us safe game. anyway, so if you don't mind uh, cheats, so we can get the bazooka and do the whole thing, because there's there's more to this skybrush skin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you do F10 and type in, I think Ergon. it's Ergon. is it Ergon Elza or is it Azarim Taklid? No, Azarim Taklid was for uh, when you. Enable hints, it deducts from your IQ at the end, and uh, Ezrim uh, disables that. Uh... I mean, there's uh, there's all weapons, and then there's invincibility, and that's the only two cheats I ever used. Backlit Marion is invincibility. Um, Oregon Elsa is all weapons. Okay, so and... do that one. Then you have uh, uh, the one you were saying. Right. Uh, Urgon is the name of the first machine part. So it's uh, U-R-G-O-N. U-R-G-O-N. And then you do an underscore. And you type in Elsa, which is uh, from Last Crusade. And now you should have all weapons in your inventory. If we didn't mess up. Yeah. So get equip the bazooka and find an open space with a long corridor. Like go Like this yeah, one. And I'll turn around. And maybe top yeah. of the stairs and then shoot behind you would be a good good spot. Did it crash? Oh uh, yeah, we have the stupid... Okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> we have the stupid uh, bazooka crash. Bazooka crash. <laughs> I like Which means you probably have... Uh, probably all large weapons are gonna crash the game. Because that, that's a thing. So, we have fixes for these in the Discord server. Yeah. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, I can tell some random trivia. Like, um, there is also, there are more cheats you can, uh, give. Like, uh, the one Kovic was actually, uh, hinting at, um, <coughs> which was Ezrim, is Ezrim Sophia, and that would be all healing items. And the one I was talking about, where, uh, it doesn't detect, uh, points at the end, uh, for using the hints. It's uh, not Willy. There are a few more, uh, like um, and there is also when you get in the uh, stuck in like an animation. Um, it's uh, if I'm not mistaken, something like free Time to go to work. Um, or something in among those lines, and. Um, there is also one uh, for showing the frame rate, which we use in the actual speedruns. And there is also another cheat. Um, and I think it's as dumb as typing um, credits 
to have the credits. So, uh, Cloud, are you are you uh, interested in installing the patch, the fix? Uh, you think you'll uh, will need it uh, in the first uh, stream? Um, okay. If we don't cheat, then we don't need it. I Unless will install it, issue, but uh, uh, for the, the uh, next uh, time, I guess. He, Unless he is gonna shoot the gun he is gonna receive in a moment. Yeah, the rifle, um, there's a small chance it crashes. It's usually bazooka and uh, machine gun. Mm. They crash the most often. And shotgun. I have shotgun a never of... really crashed for me. That I much. have a lot of bad luck with the shotgun. The shotgun, the rifle, and the machine gun. Those are the weapons that crash for me. Oops. Time to study at the dog. I'm I, I'm not gonna try to say I know all cutscenes by heart, but aha, uh -huh. kind of a lot. Uh, but this fix uh, is made by the community. It's something that happens uh, on modern systems, or what? <laughs> no, it ha it happens on older systems too. Oh, okay. It never happened to me on older systems. I think it's something they broke at some point. Where, Where is the cutscene? That indie infiltrated? Where is the cutscene? A gun. Hmm? Cutscene here? Never had one. Oh no, I'm confusing, well yes I'm confusing, but I'm confusing uh, a cutscene with something else, a cutscene with that's coming up after you pull the lever. Oh also Kovic, the speedrun strat here, should we give him a chance to try it or would it be a bit too insane? Uh, we have saves, so... Yeah. Can try anything. Okay. I th I think you should whip back across. Yeah, if you whip back across, we can try and show the a trademark PC skip because it saves uh, just you know a bit of movement. But since everything is so slow on the PC version, it's uh, worth it. So uh, if you stand quick here sideways, here. Quick yeah, save quick here. save first. That's important. But if you uh, stand sideways and then you do a sideways roll uh, so that you are facing the ledge that's uh, to the left side, uh, what you can do is you can out of the out of the rolling animation you can climb up climb up uh, that ledge. Do you see the ledge on the left uh, with the hole yeah. that is there? Okay. Yeah. So if you roll sideways so that you are facing it, which means you turn left and then you roll right. Uh, it is possible to climb it. Uh... it. It isn't the easiest oh. trick to do, but... Yeah, uh... now that you rolled anyway, uh, you can just jump up there. And usually so... I almost kiss the wall. Yeah, you need to, we want to be really near the ledge. Like this? Yeah, somewhat. Oh. That was close. That was actually close Mate, because I, I don't remember if you can or... just hold the climb button, which is X in my case, or whether you have to time it. I don't remember. Because uh, there's a thing about this trick and the reason why people don't really do it, and that's you need your timing to be really good. Because Ooh. if it isn't, and but you start climbing, uh, Indy can get stuck in the animation and soft lock. Uh, no, there is a cheat actually to unsoft lock him. Yeah, but it's banned. True. <laughs> ah, that was close. Also, I mean, you would take this in a speed run because you didn't take any damage. The way you you bounce from uh, of the edge, it's like an edge bug in Half Life. 
Okay. You would think this in the speaker. <laughs> Ah, okay. Let's do it like this. <laughs> I, yeah, but, yeah, I, but you you were getting close. Okay, we can uh, try then again. Uh, it seems to me that I'm doing the same thing every time. That's why. Oops. I mean, I don't know what uh, I need to change to be able to grab it. I don't know what you're pressing, so I have no idea. I'm pressing up when... Uh, so I'm. Uh, you holding. also need to press the the jump key, which is like X or O. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I need to uh, after the roll to jump and up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Roll Either jump up. I, okay. You roll sideways and then forwards and the the X button. Wow! He did it. Yes. <laughs> cool. Very nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do the jump. That was the problem. <laughs> yeah. The What's second this? treasure. Yeah, I, I should I should know for further use. Uh, what button do you jump with? Alt. Left. Alt. I see. <clears throat> yeah, I jump with X. X. However you say it. The cross. <laughs> PlayStation okay. button. Uh, okay. this it's, button. it's nicer to press and it's not a modifier key so no bullshit can happen with right Kovic this button yeah that one <laughs> no the bullshit can happen with to... with um, changing my windows and things like that yeah the cutscene I was confusing with what's this one comrade Dr. Valadnikov we have Narushitin in our sight. Capture him if possible. Otherwise, Strelia the dog. That's sir. Yeah, it's definitely a higher difficulty Oops. than... <laughs> <laughs> now, where was the last quick save? Okay. Right after he pulled the lever. Yeah, trying to shoot the barrel is a uh, waste of time, sometimes. Or an insta-kill. True. But it's definitely uh, a higher difficulty than uh, what we use in runs. In runs we use like a uh, freshman or something. Yeah, just the lowest one. Which essentially completely eliminates combat from this game. True. Some strange lighting effects here. Or bugs. Yeah. I think that's mostly because we are playing in 4K. Why? And the engine... I think the engine isn't capable of su lighting such large areas. There's no room to maneuver. Without having some... Uh, jank. Also, Kovic, 
would this would it be possible to do this underwater maze in one breath in a speedrun? Oh, for sure. Let's see. Do I still know the route? It was to the right, the first hole down, then going out to the left, second hole down. Um... Man, I am... I'm so bad with directions sometimes. Uh, there is a second one here, no? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay. Well, blue. Left is this one. Right is this one. I never get them crossed. Uh, from what I understand how this maze works is that grate was actually the grate we ran over um, when we pulled the lever. And this is where we picked up uh, the second treasure, the silver coins. Level is outrageously interconnected. True. Because when you pick up the silver coins and look down, you actually see ends of this underwater mage. Mage? Maze. In uh, hmm. the prepping of the stream, we actually said that uh, the window behind me is actually like a mirror. <laughs> and I am from time to time, I'm thinking like, is there something playing on my TV in my living room? But no, it's just the reflection of my screen. <laughs> okay. Here? It's a long hallway, a very long hallway, <coughs> even longer than this one. Is it, uh, wasn't the correct one somewhere in, in one of the corners? It's the right corner from the start of the maze. Where is the start of the maze? <laughs> I think it's yeah. this one. I think I think it's the one where you just took uh, some red. Here? If I'm not, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's that one. Go the this one way? You, no, the one you just swab over. That one is for a treasure. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's this one. Since you go a bit more deep. Now we're gonna see in the lie. Do a funny roll from the stairs. Oh. <laughs> Why 
why these doors How are shall we get in here? I don't know. Maybe this hey, guard us. Open the door. I'm here to deliver supplies. You know, dig stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need, I've got it. What? Hello, Dr. Jones. Welcome to Babel. I'm Simon Turner. Remember? CIA? Sophia works for me. Oh, you stole the cock wheel. You stole the cock wheel. And our combi friends don't even know it's gone. Blodnikov's a hopeless academic, not a field man, and frankly, I need clues he doesn't have. That's why you got tapped. You are a famous archaeologist. I'm just a spy. This should get you through the door. By the way, rumor has it they found a gold statuette of the winged god Marduk. Be awful nice to have that. CIA runs a museum. The company runs a hive of soulless bureaucrats, but I am a passionate collector. I'll bet you are. One of the big friends of <laughs> Kovic. Isn't it lovely Turner? He surely never messes up runs. Ah. Yeah, he brought a friend. Hold on. I have a visitor. Man, I love the quick save. <laughs> I'm thinking now about that level that uh, we did for two streams or something like that on Emperor's Tomb. <laughs> yeah, I heard him meowing. I'm gonna quickly feed Troy, so I be back in a second. Oh, Kovic, do say him uh, with the TNT that he needs to hug it when he shoots it. Hey, I don't know about that. There we go, Kitty be munching. Yeah, Murray. It's indeed like a character who is kind of important, and then he's like, I'm gonna appear three times, four times? He appears in this level, at the end of Tomb, once in Machine at the start, secondly in Machine as an obvious spoiler, I think four times.
I'm not forgetting a moment, right? Are we doing treasure wise? The four. Yeah, you should have four. Yeah. Now, when you shoot this CMT, you need to hug it. <laughs> Be real close to it. Yeah, it's not totally setting you up. India's gonna take a dive! For some reason, uh, if I really go dig in uh, the Discord, I had a Mandela effect here. And um, for those who don't know what the Mandela effect is, is when you're totally convinced something is one way, while in truth it's the other way. Like, um, Pikachu doesn't have like a black spot in his tail, for example, that can be a Mandela effect. The Mandela effect I had here is I was always convinced that, um, there was uh, another treasure you could pick up earlier in the level and depending if you had or hadn't picked up picked it up yet uh, there, there was either a healing item or a treasure at the bottom of that lake uh, we just well like water pit we uh, came out of it Mr. Otis didn't actually invent the elevator after all. Turner was right about the lot gun. A good digger would have found this long ago. A gold digger would have found this long ago. Yeah. Maybe he needs to spend more time at the library. Not totally foreshadowing the next area. This looks like a door to me. Why doesn't it open? What do you know? Sophia's little gift has a purpose. And enjoy all the original quality textures in up to 256 by 256 pixels. Some of them look really funny as emotes in our Discord. <laughs> Uh, I think Klamath is muted. Sorry, <laughs> my my child was uh, crying earlier, and that's uh, why I muted my mic. Uh, did you try uh, upscaling the textures with uh, AI or something like that? It's been done upscaling. Uh, didn't look that good, in my opinion. But you need to do the whole thing because if you just upscale one texture, then it really pops out compared to the others I'm out of room and I think it was done either by a uh, discord I'm user Volodnikov or Ethereum I don't remember which one of those guys yeah, did it and uh, but they said they had some free trial for something so they didn't do the whole batch of textures I think that's the explanation why there is no no texture pack for this okay, where am I? or maybe it's somehow really annoying to swap the textures i i i don't know i don't do modding for this game i'm, I'm curious the uh, if the engine files. supports if the engine supports uh, higher textures or you need to port it to something else no nah, the, the engine itself is moddable in theory it's just really annoying to do manually and there, there's just no community to have to make tools so for example we know the level format we could make new levels for this but there's no editor and so you would need to literally craft the levels by hand in a text editor setting up all the vertices and then setting up the lights for them so do not have your level be completely ugly and it's there's there just isn't the infrastructure 
somebody who or does somebody who does have the patience. I mean, you would need inhuman amounts of patience to bother doing all that in a text editor. So, a much more productive approach would be someone with experience in like GUI programming and also someone who bothers to learn the 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 format to then cobble up a, a level editor mm -hmm. from scratch. That's the hard mm -hmm. part. I, I do maintenance for the editor for Doom 64, but that was a, an existing product and I'm just trying to patch it and upgrade it wherever I can. But doing something from scratch, that's a whole other level. And yeah, since there's about three people who know how to mod for this, and about eight people who play this, uh, what have we it just hasn't happened, unfortunately. If we compare to Tomb Raider, right, that that game has exponentially more players, and it had a head start because there was an official editor. It's really yeah. old and doesn't work these days, but the fact that it existed it was a... Work these days? Man, I mean, as far as I know, it's like Windows XP old. No, 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 no. The, the community behind it, it's insane, Kovich. I know, they, I'm talking official, like the one you had on the CD. I know there's editors, newer ones, but as I was yeah, saying. Yeah, but that one is still being used with fan patches, of course, grant, granted, but uh, it's still being used. There are still levels being created. If you go to trle.net, excuse me.net, you see um, all the levels. And I've played a few of them, not all, because there, there are like. Um, over 3k levels created in the Tomb Raider 4 engine, but uh, the, the Tomb Raider custom level is uh, quite active. Hmm. And if I'm not right mistaken, is that Red Diamond not the last? Uh, not. No, no. Oh, no, 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 there are two treasures at the end. Troy, what are you... Uh, okay. What are you even... Do a save. It's free. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fully open the door, cat. Because otherwise, the people on the stream will hear a lot of echo. You have a lot of sleeping places here as well. Oh. <laughs> Did he bump off the block? Now he overshoot because he decided for a running jump now. Since the previous time, he bumped uh, the wall. Yeah, he, he totally forgot about rolling. From the middle of the block. <laughs> now, from the edge, just a, a standing jump is a good call. He just got scammed by physics. I'm not gonna lie, I can totally see why reviewers of this game tore it to shreds for being clunky as hell. Not that Tomb Raider is that much better. <laughs> Understatement of the week. I guess Tomb Raider gets cut, cut more slack, because it's all squares anyway. This game actually has real meshes, and not everything is shaped like a box. Just lots of things. But look at that rubble, you wouldn't have that in a Tomb Raider game. Yeah, 
your right, I come directly from the top of my head. Uh... Hey. Mostly things like that explode. Uh... Like, pots in Tomb Raider came and explode in a very amusing way. And clam it. <laughs> if this game is using the same engine uh, with uh, Dark Forces 2, there isn't uh, an editor for Dark Forces 2? Uh, sorry? I you think... you said that basically is the same engine with uh, Dark Forces 2? Yes. Uh, and Dark Forces 2 doesn't have uh, an editor? Oh yeah, yeah, I I know what where you're going with this. So yeah, Dark Forces has stuff. Um, it's not just plug and play compatible because of the changes they made between each game. They use silver duct tape instead of black duct tape this time. Yeah, but I'm thinking but... that you'll not start from scratch at least. Like, I don't know sense. if there's a level editor for. I know there's some like. What is it called? Open. Open DF. There we go. The Force Engine. Hello, and the Rock. No way. That's Hello, Dark Ender. Forces One. Damn it. No, there is also some unique dialogue uh, which is unobtainable now uh, when you uh -huh. go up um, text the elevator without the statue. The, they don't actually let you end the level without giving the statue to Turner. And um, the only thing I'm gonna say, I um, as a, I'm not gonna say an X speed runner, but I don't run the PC version anymore. But the next level, I hate with a passion for speed running. There's some cuneiform writing here, but I can't read it. Some of the tablets are missing. There, it fits. But I still can't read anything. Now it starts to make sense. Well, let's see here. Make welcome seeker. Know that it was Nebuchadnezzar. I used to know in heed of the writing heart, that but... Marduk made appear unto him who builded the great engine. Having no understanding, the rabble hath thrown down his work, but four trusted disciples are, are scattered upon the face of the earth, and the relics go with them. Wouldst thou tread the path of knowledge, look eastward. Ergon it is who flees to the heavenly mountains, where Shambhala holds a mighty secret. Heavenly mountains. I wonder if that means the Tian Shan Range. Yan Shan Mountains. I better get moving before Vladnikov figures this out. How is your uh, run, uh, the DS run of Staff of Kings, <laughs> going? Neko. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the entering machine of Neko Jones. Please leave a message after the beep. Hmm. Uh, An 
idol. Due to the move and me having COVID, yay! Um, it has but you had me postponed. Yeah. And um, yeah, there, there is a level that's um, hair pullingly annoying on DS. And I totally understand why there isn't a run now. <laughs> there is a level where um, it's basically an endurance run, and they don't give you enough healing items, even on the easiest difficulty setting. It's. <laughs> and here is the funny part it's level 3. Well, at least you can restart without too much remorse. True. If it was level 15, it would be more annoying. But it, but it's junk. It's real junk. Ah, Jones, there you are. Got a statue for me? Will this do? It just well, speaking of junk, <laughs> this is uh, totally off topic, but I got uh, a random craving to play night lore on the zx spectrum yesterday so i i took me about an hour to find a good uh, emulation solution so i started playing and after one minute i quit the game and deleted it maybe i won't show the border guards my passport some old games are fun but others are a jank fest and it's hailed as one of the greatest on the system, and it took me one minute of actually experiencing the controls and how it really runs, and, and just no, no. I mean, it's it's a really cool idea game, but I no, it's not fun <laughs> to play anymore. Meanwhile, India arrives at the Tian Shan River in Kazakhstan on the Russia-China border. The river can take out our hero where he wants to go, but first he needs a raft. To get one, Jones must evade a wolf attacks and fight his way into the Soviet border station. Once he produces a vessel, that's exactly what it says, once he produces a vessel, and as many raft repair kits as he can find, three of them, um, Indy can navigate the raging River to seek access to the ancient Zoroastrian temple known as Shambhala Sanctuary. This level includes a treasure you are about to miss. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. This level includes combat with Russian border guards and a few wolves. But Doctor Jones spent the bulk of this of the what adventure rafting on the river. A maze of twisting now waterways what? and roaring yeah. rapids. You don't urge. need to tell me. Um, early on, Jones finds an odd candle tree. An odd candle tree. What? <laughs> Your overall goal is to explore the... Um, whatever. Uh, the trails that will lead to the Tension River and find the four candles that go into the tree's candle holders. The key to success, of course, is mastering the raft. No shit, Sherlock. Um, avoiding rocks as you speed down the dangerous white water canals before it gets cancelled. Another key is uh -huh. to map the water maze and learn how the various channels connect. So, two treasures, right? We have two. Yeah. You know, you said something about the ZX Spectrum. Uh, I bought the mini console that uh, was released a few years ago. So, this is what I'm using for emulation <laughs> for mm -hmm. that uh, system. <laughs> because you can uh, use a USB drive to put all the games <laughs> on it. You're trying something and it's not gonna succeed. Okay. <laughs> um. So this level, 
has been done in uh, 13 minutes 20 seconds by Hidiamo. Um but the old treasures <laughs> <laughs> Let me Drum tell roll. you, like this, I did 26 minutes and 30 seconds because there is one treasure that if you don't do the skip, it's annoying as fuck to get. And I had to go down the river twice. No, thrice, I think. And... That's the biggest difference between me and Kovic. He... Did you do the skip? Uh, here? For the blue diamond? I... Can't remember, but I was grinding it, so... Maybe. I think... In any case, you did it in 16 minutes, 41 seconds. Let me check if you actually hit the skip. Otherwise, in theory, this ILS... Might be able to be beaten. I think all of my all treasures runs, maybe except one or two, could totally be beaten. Question is, will you? Because for context, right? The thing about PC version is, it has quick saves, and we use that in the full run. But for single level runs. It is not allowed to quick save. You have to do the whole level in one go without deaths and anything. If you fail a skip, if you fail a jump and just die, you're screwed. This is for historical reasons, basically. I, I have no idea why it's still a thing. And we haven't been able to push through a change to allow quick saves. And for that reason, doing individual level runs of this game is so unforgiving. True, I totally agree. It, I, I, if okay. you remove the whole quick saving um, part from that story, you basically have the Game Boy Color runs. Like some runs, uh, some levels take you 10 minutes each to run, and um, yeah, with, without any save states, it's it's. I, I hate running levels like Doom or Meroic or Machine because yeah. No, don't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It'd be a cool shortcut if it didn't close behind you. True. That's why I stopped you. Um. Yeah, but. Using safe states in the Game Boy Color run, I can understand. Because you can't do that on an actual hardware. But not being able to use quick saves in the PC version, I think we uh, also discussed it when we uh, were commentating on the N64 run. Um, it, it's just elitism. Sorry. And correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we even did uh, the le load remover yet. Yeah, because the, the leaderboards show real-time only. True. Even though we do have an auto-splitter with a load remover now. So the all treasures run is actually 4 minutes faster if you don't count loading times. So yeah, the loading times are not large, but over 4 and a... I mean, almost five hours, it adds up to four minutes. Now, just to answer a little question in the chat, I think uh, this one is better for Kovic to answer than me. Is it true that only a slightly ruined analog stick makes it impossible to run forward at full speed in N64? The answer is yes. The, an the longer answer is, they they fucked up the game. They, there's it's a purely software thing, programming thing. To when the developers decided that yeah, this is the threshold for moving at 100% speed. If you go below that, we start to scale you down 90%, 80%, 70%, whatever. 
in the vast majority of N64 games, like Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Ocarina of Time, whatever, this threshold is about 70. You need to wear down your stick a lot to not be able to make 70. So you, you can you can use a like pretty used up stick and still playing Super Mario 64 just fine. For Indiana Jones, this is 80. Oh, nice. About. So this is how the Russians patrol the river. For context, a pristine stick, a perfect N64 stick, is gonna give you 85. So you have five points of analog input of wiggle room before you're screwed, and you cannot jump at full speed. And if you cannot run forward at full speed and jump, then you're not gonna do the running jump, the long jump, you're just gonna do the shitty walking jump, and the game becomes impossible to play. So, yeah, that's... That's the thing that really sucks about the N64 version. Like, seriously. Didn't if you want to play with the original Trident controller, you either need a brand new OEM stick, or the, some teal stick, or you need to do a GameCube stick, or you need to use a third-party controller that over overblows the range, like a Tribute, or yeah, an actual GameCube controller. You'd like that. GameCube? Yeah, you can actually use the GameCube controller oh, yeah? with your N64. I didn't know. With some dongles, maybe. Yeah, you just need a dongle, but the thing is, the the controller bus, the, the technology behind the scenes, behind the port, is the same. And it's sort of-ish. That didn't work. Backwards compatible. I mean, not really, because the N64 didn't expect the GameCube. It didn't predict the future. But <laughs> with with a, a dongle, you can translate the GameCube buttons. Uh, hold on. Three treasures before we leave here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now we need the one on the river here, which you cannot return to because of the waterfall. So quick save for the love of God. Uh, so you were talking about controllers, Kovic? So, in the end, how did you find the controller, the brawler one? Did you try it? It's, uh, it's the treasure is to the left here. Don't fall uh, over the waterfall. Thankfully, raft controls are way better on PC, so you were able to save it. Uh, about the brawler, yeah, so the the one you sent, uh, that's the, the V1, which has a uh, larger range than the V2, so it's, it's pretty good for Indiana Jones. Uh, I found that this specific unit, the range going diagonally backwards is just slightly not enough, but I, I suspect if I filed the, the gate, as in the the, the the hole around, the, the opening around the stick itself. If I filed it down so that the stick could move more, I could get that extra point. Because I, I think it's a physical issue with how they made the actual shell of the controller. Because if you do a, a controller test from on the, on the, con, on the brawler stick, the shape of, of the range is a bit off. It's, it's supposed to be an octagon, but the OEM, OEM one, the original one, it's a pretty flat octagon. So if I'm gonna try and make the shape, it's like this. And then the sideways, it's like this. So it looks, it's almost like a square, but it's an octagon. But the brawler one is much more bent in. And so you have weak diagonals. But if I took a file and just filed the opening down, I think I would get more range, and then the stick would be perfect. Uh, we did such a test uh, on the N64 run. I think uh, we were on the same level <laughs> when we talk about this. So, 
apparently, uh... Aha. Some people didn't know there was a treasure behind the waterfall. <laughs> Always check the waterfalls. Definitely. <laughs> In all the games. <laughs> Yeah, the, the first treasure uh, in Doom is also uh, looks like a candle holder. There's some old Persian behind the one the I think it says pray to the four winds. I was gonna say, what do you think? How did the cliche start? Because already in Super Mario 64, you have a waterfall treasure, and I feel like it was already back then. It was obvious. So who started the waterfall thing? Yeah, it's an interesting question. <laughs> uh, I think it was in early games like uh, Elder Scrolls Arena or something like that. Uh, come on, what's it? Website again? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm quickly googling that, Kovic, um, and I'm gonna just light a bit down because I'm looking at a website that's completely white. <laughs> um, and... It's actually started with a mint about the treasure behind uh, Niagara Falls. <laughs> and then uh, comic books and movies started to adapting it. And there is also a Hawaiian myth that started it. And in the first Legend of Zelda, there is also a moment where you can walk into a waterfall for a shield upgrade. But... I am looking on TV tropes for Cave Behind the Waterfalls. And the list... Uh, it's quite long. <laughs> From Monkey Island 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Battle Fire 2, Pokemon, uh, King's Quest, Assassin's Creed, Ultima, um, Tomb Raider, Star Fox, Dragon Quest, Earthbound, Kami, Resident Evil. Which uh, I, Ultima? I which... think I make my point. Which one? Uh, Ultima. Ultima 5. Uh, okay, because he's the oldest uh, and could uh, fight for the first place with Zelda. That's why I asked you. Our oldest uh, series in, from uh, your list. Yeah. So, I'm not gonna dig too much deeper, otherwise I miss things in chats and other things in the level. So, I'm just gonna post the link to the TV tropes. Um, in chat, so if people want to dig deeper and know more, there's the link, boys. You know this river a bit better than I do, Kovic, so I think I will leave the guiding up to you.
Ah. Oh, this glitch. Look what I found. A beeswax candle. Look what I found. A candle and two spiders coming down from the ceiling. Planet. Did you know it's very healthy to take a cold shower? Maybe India needs to take a dip in the river. You said two? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, could you quick save here? And now, I said this in the N64 stream, but now we are coming up into a PC exclusive glitch. So, um, if you don't mind cheating to ch just show some jankiness here, uh, would you press F10? A uh, quick save first? Yeah, I uh, think it could save. I did. Okay. And type in Taklet T A K. L I T underscore Mariam uh, space on. This is the invincibility code, and now you can actually run on the water. <laughs> and if you go down, if I'm not mistaken, if you go down and take the orange route, something rather interesting will happen. If I'm not mistaken where it exactly happens. Uh, what do you call the orange route? Because we passed the bells already. The second one also? Uh, that's uh, in the other direction. Oh yeah, then, then, it's, then it's another place I think. But I... Not 100% sure you can return the whole way. Maybe you can. I don't imagine they bothered uh, with the sliding flag here, so you should be able to run on all of this. True. So. I think it was uh, in the other channel. But yeah, things like that you can't. So, um, just reload and... Do you think uh, that's too steep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite sure. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. If you could do the revolver glitch here, I think it would be fine, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's not... I'm a... Uh... Can you pull out the revolver? Do you want to try a glitch? I already have a glitch here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the water pushing you into the, the rock. Yeah, uh -huh. I think you can roll out of it. And if you can't, you reload. But I will, um, when we are back up on top, um, I will notify you to re-enable the invincibility cheat. And I will uh, is it the first set of bells or the second set of bells? I don't, I don't want to mislead you. I don't remember where the second set of bells is completely. I think it's at the second set. I'm gonna pull up a map so, of the hold river. On. Hold on, Clement. I'm 
maybe with a bit of luck there is one in the strategy guides. have a map of the the jeep track maze I'm gonna send, send you the map on Discord I'm reading the map right, we... I think we passed it. And if we don't see that glitchy thing today, I will try to capture a video of it and uh, send it to you, Clement, so you can include it in next week's stream. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Um, Blue, interesting uh, about pressing M to show the map, but I need an overall map. Then there's an unofficial, even better way to do a map, and that's uh, ripping the level from the game files and opening it in Blender. True. So you can view the map in 3D. Uh, that's fun, it's really tiny because 4K. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do scaling on it. Classic 90s PC games. So we, we basically have uh, the whole map. Sort <laughs> of, kind of, yeah. <clears throat> it's so rare, though, to have an auto map in 3D titles. Not even Quake bothered with the map. Doom did. But yeah, Doom's not 3D, title. though. Um, Murray, yeah, you lose IQ points uh, for activating things unless you enable a cheat for it, which is one of the more unknown cheats for this game. Whoops. And that's with the indie girl um, from. Uh, All right, we only have one candle. Yeah. They resent Klamath. The wrong path because you, you could have gotten two candles. Maybe, yeah. But uh, do quick save here. Uh, I did. Yeah. Let's just go out of the river. I want you to cheat again to show off the, the other thing. I don't know what he's talking about, so I'm interested as well. Yeah, it, it's a moment where uh, when you cheatly run on the river, it teleports in the high up in the air and drops him down a few meters further. It, 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 it's jarring to see. So if you press F10... Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the same cheat again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry? Yeah, T-A-K-L-I-T underscore It's a me, Marion. 
<laughs> it's not Mario, it's Marion. Ah, Marion, okay. <laughs> and if we, uh, and you need to type uh, space on your net. Now, I don't exactly remember if it's uh, at the... I think it's at the second pair of bells, and I don't remember if it's blue first or orange first, but... The, the funny thing happens at, uh, an, at an orange side, that I know for sure. And I rarely call them bells, I mostly call them pillars. Or giant stones. I think it's the blue one now. Okay. It's funny that uh, on our N64. Oh, no, no, I, I think it happens here. Yeah, continue to walk. Okay. Looking for a hole in the ground because that's what that's what happens in in Gothic. There's a similar bug there. Around the old camp, there's a seam in the ground, and if you walk over it, the hero gets teleported into the sky and then falls down, but doesn't take fall damage. <laughs> this happens. <laughs> So if you walk back, it should happen again. Instead of going down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some space where... Oh, wait, what the hell? Check it, teleports happen. That's weird. Oops. You sh if you haven't already, you should ask uh, Volodnikov in the Discord about this. He'd yeah. probably know why this happens. Because I, 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 I imagine it's a level bug. Like the, Maybe they do portals between the sectors and they fucked up this one. And it, it, it's a very unknown uh. trivia fact about this game, but... Here I can load now. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the reaction of chat was this. I don't think it happens when we're flying on the N64 here, so... No. But I discovered it because I just want to play through the game without caring about that point, so I enabled um, the invincibility cheats just to mess around, and suddenly I got that teleport to happen, and I was like, Let's try that the second time. And it was practicable. Right, let's go left now. To get some candles. Also, um, just for the trivia, um, when you do the chalk uh, abuse in Canyonland... Uh, right and now. Right. And then enable the invincibility cheat. You still die to the dead blades, even with the invincibility cheat on. Now, Kovic, shall we let him do the door glitch? Of course. Do you want it, Clement? Do you want to do the glitchy way or the intended way? Or the muted way. <laughs> Silent way. I need to find a better spot. 
So let's do it the glitchy way. We can always quick save and we can do it the glitchy way first and then the intended way. And we already did the intended way on N64, right? so I suggest we don't bother and just go through the door. Exactly. Just walk through the door. Literally, walk through it. Yeah, if you line yourself up on the left edge of this window, Indy will just go through it. And if you hold forwards... And line yourself up against the window, like... Facing a window, and then... Hold forwards. And look a little bit more right, so that you are... Yeah, flush with the... With the door. Yeah, Maybe see, as you the moment you were game. started sliding to the right, that's how you saw the, the 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 lineup was right. So adjust a little bit, more right, more right. You are you keep looking left. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Continue like this. Because the door is just a suggestion. What have we here? And it works no. backwards too. You are still muted, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, because uh, my child is still crying. <laughs> mm. uh, I we can't hear her anyway. Guess mute. Uh, I put uh, a noise filter, but I'm not sure that uh, works. <laughs> I that think it works good. well because I I don't hear anything. Uh, okay, so we have the candle. Uh, on the PC version, you can also do the glitch with flying, which we did on. Oh uh, no, 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 no! If only we do that have would another save. janky glitch. How do we? Pistol. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> we haven't done it yet. It hasn't been an opportunity for it to be yeah. useful in this level or the previous one. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the crawling stuff just doesn't work here because uh, crawling is a toggle and not a hold, and also you just cannot crawl up or down any slopes. There's a treasure behind it. So I tried. The moment I discovered that's a thing on N64, I went back to back. Uh, it was Lagoon, and I tried crawling there and. Sadly, quickly found out that it's just not happening. Which is a shame, because uh, even just flying inbounds would be very useful. There would be no flying out of bounds, because that's another thing I also tested that, that was with the Jeep when I found out you can drive the Jeep out of bounds on N64 I tried to do the same on PC but on PC if you try to go actual out of bounds where there's no texture and go over the geometry the nothing is a wall whereas on the N64 it's a void on PC it's, a, it's a, another wall so there's no going outside You know, I would I would love to see some uh, for those who know the channel I'm going to talk about boundary break where they have like a no clip camera uh, where they can zoom out and zoom in uh, while the game is actually playing to see if the game uses calling uh, and things like that. I would love to see some episode for this game, the N64 and the PC version to see how the game actually works, how the camera works, and what's hidden, and 
in before like Turner T poses before you enter the room at the end in uh, in machine. That's interesting. Maybe you will put a link on Discord. It's a YouTube channel, no? Yeah. But there is no episode of this game. I would uh, yeah, I understand, but for others, other games, I yeah. guess. You can uh, put it also on uh, on chat, of course. That's <laughs> what I'm currently doing. Uh, okay, so we have. Uh, and I'm gonna show it. Three so candles, really six treasures, and now we have the the, the most fun one left. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh yeah, okay. that one. I'm gonna take uh, a mental break. <laughs> Bye. Have a beautiful time. No, actually, talking about that part. You mentioned the revolver glitch. It is going to be useful there. I completely forgot. But no, no, that's it's, not it's used there. Glitch. No, that's a chocolate. No, 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 no. Oh no, yeah, it's both. Revolver glitch to go onto oh. the piston early. Okay. So I'm going right now. No, so you go left again. Left? Okay. Yeah, but on the next one you go also left. It looks like most people um, in chat know that boundary break. And uh, now? Uh, right? Left. Okay. Now do a quick save because this turn is kind of hard because on the next one you want to go right. Jeez. Yeah, right here. Like a pro. Yeah, and, and yeah, right here. This part, didn't it crash on us, on N64? Yeah, it was a scream and if I remember it correctly. Because I know it likes to crash on N64 if you, as you go into the piston room, if you are jumping, the game gives up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Treasure alert. Actually, there's a feature now on Discord where you can do uh, like funny sound stuff, but it's probably only in servers and not in voice calls. Yeah, most likely. Because I don't see it here. We could do something uh, like uh, you, uh, you send us about uh, Pasmo for indie games. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's not that. Uh, to keep track of uh, what's going on and show on screen. So, do you want to try your hand uh, at the revolver glitch? Of course. <laughs> Alright, so I suggest you practice it uh, here first, get the mechanics, and then try to do it in a useful way. Right, so uh, the theory is if you try to shoot and turn left at the same time 
and then just before the shoot the the bullet fires you try to you also hold roll and forwards indy is gonna gonna combine the, the shooting and the rolling animation and do a really cursed morph roll which uh, ends up being uh, longer than a long jump it's longer in distance covered and so you can use it to sequence break so uh, so the theory is you hold you hold control to shoot and uh, you as the shot just before the bullet fires so before you see the smoke and everything you press left and then like one frame later you hold you start also holding Z and forward oh. it's harder to explain than to uh, yeah. do it I think it's something you need to try a few times and you will see the curseness when you do it right I say before the, sh the bullet fires so like as he's putting his arm forwards that's when you need to start holding the things it's very time sensitive uh, uh. yeah it started to happen okay and it's it's about uh, timing the 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 longest distance you get if you do it just before the bullet leaves if you do it uh, earlier then the distance is smaller if you do it too late after the, the bullet fires then uh, the bullet is going to interrupt the the glitchiness and you get a short jump the, the beginning is already there Yeah, that was that was very good, but uh, it came too late after the bullet, so that's why the jump was so short. Yes, that was perfect. Okay. Yeah, but you don't need to roll after that. But it's yeah, it only does a single jump, so every time you want to do it, you have to do the whole sequence. Like I said, it's 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 glitchy jank, but it's very helpful in. Uh... Yeah. There's a there's a learning curve to it, but I, I can do it on command. I can't. <laughs> I uh, I try to learn it, but I feel like I don't get. I don't have the patience to get the timing down. So you, you can see in my runs, I use it in places where you don't even need it. For example, in temple, in the room with the where the platforms are rising in and out of the lava, I use it to jump between the lava platforms because it's uh, more reliable than normal jumps. Yeah. Places where the revolver glitch is used is, for example, to get a treasure a bit later in this level. Or um, in in the mines to also have some glitchy effect with a whip uh, skip. Um, and okay, so I think uh, with the help of some quick saves, yeah, you can do it in other directions than forwards too. But it's uh, it, I only have it. I say I can do it on command, but only the one way. You can do it with. You can also instead of turning left and then going forwards, you can turn right and then go forwards, or you can sort of turn both ways if you do it in quick succession. And then the the morph glitch that Indy does looks really funny. It's like his his legs start spinning. Yeah. That was that was used in Babylon to do a skip, but then we found a better way. But and also, and it, Revolver glitch used in Shambhala once for to skip like going around in the clock tower uh, to go through the window. No. After, but I'm not sure I'm doing it right now or. 
uh, should be longer. The jump should be longer. I mean, we'll see. Let's try it uh, on the actual thing where you use it. So, do you see the, the railing there uh, near the water? Okay. Right. You can you can walk on this small ledge without falling down, and uh, so the point is to go uh, on this ledge uh, so that the the piston is behind you, and then you can do the revolver glitch to jump on the piston, and you don't have to do the platforming the proper way. Here, so if you make a quick yeah, if you make a quick save here and then try to do the the glitch. Okay. Oh, yeah, blue screen has a video showing off his rolling glitches. I think I will uh, move to the other screen because now I'm through the OBS and I have a bit of delay. <laughs> ah, well, that's not great. Okay. No. That was close. That was very close. You need to practice hard to uh, execute now under pressure. <laughs> yes. Hey! <laughs> And you will need to do it another time for some glitchy uh, things in this level. Uh, no, okay. there's no more. There is for the blue gem. No, that's the chalk. You're confusing. No, 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 no. Uh, where should I go? There. Uh, no. The, turn around, and you can jump to the corner to your left. And do a quick save as well, since we don't want to lose this. If you Up go there. slightly forward, now the left corner, you can, it's chipped off, and you okay, can grab okay, there. Okay. I want to bet money on that, Kobe. Oops. You you will need to revolve the glitch for the blue diamond. Uh, do we want to do that? If we will, we can try it. Because the thing is, that one needs the perfect revolver glitch to get yeah. the distance. But our coaching helps. He, he already did a glitch. Two or three glitches uh, we use in the speed front, so. Yeah, the way I meant it is the the execution needs to be perfect. Otherwise, the otherwise indie slides back down into the water and not onto the platform. In any case, we can show um, the chalk here. What's this? And then there's also the raft glitch to exit this area used in any percent. Oh yeah. I, I was thinking like, what rough glitch? Oh yeah, that one. I have a treasure here? Uh, no. I, okay. No, jump, sure. jump back and get the, the candle. Yeah, you have a treasure before the candle. Yeah, no, nothing in the, around the barrels and stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't walk with when I whip around here. Way more obvious on PC because of how brighter it is.
have we here? Another candle. We now interrupt your regular scheduled programming with a cat. <laughs> a cat that's being confused. Can I sleep there? Or can't I sleep there? Uh okay now I remember uh, we have that uh, same treasure that we had on yep. N64. Damn. I hope it's easier yeah. <laughs> here. Well, the raft is much better, so even if you do it the normal way, uh, it will be easier. Now, uh, yeah, Neko was talking oh. about another oh. glitch you can do. Oh, I, th I, I thought you were mentioning the raft was way easier, so it's always easy to get that treasure. And the salt is in the kitchen if you want to pour it in the wounds. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I, once again, your choice. Do you want to attempt a glitchy way or do you want to do the normal way? Glitchy, of course. <laughs> oh, cool. Alright. So in that case, I would uh, ask you to jump back across this gap. And uh, we have to line up a bit and for the next thing. And now, I need to remember where to line up. Let me check my own speedrun. That's probably a good... And um, mesh F5 a few times if you would be so kind. <laughs> Meanwhile, while COVID is Wait, did, did, did I do the, the thing? I you che checked already. Yeah, you do. You did. Okay, good. Good on me. You have a sleepy cat. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I did it there. first. Look at him there. It's hard shit. Okay, so jump across the next gap too. And now line up yourself in the corner of the of the platform. Uh, here? No, a corner of the edge of the platform, to be more precise. Was it there? Yeah, here? No. Yeah, that, that very, very corner, so the, the outer corner. Your left now. Oh, okay. Yeah. To my knowledge, it's around. If there. you walk with shift, you will never fall off. So you can go safely. Yeah, like that. And now you rotate. You rotate left. Or, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter now. So, right. Anyway, the point is so that you are facing. You see the. Like the beam in the, in the texture. The, the wooden. Thing. Of the doorway. Yeah, so uh, the one, uh, the next one, so to your right now. Yeah, that thing. If you line it up so that it starts uh, where Indy's right hand is, so that his hand is lined up with the, with the, yeah, like that. No, a bit more. Right. Let's try this. I mean, we can quick save here, so no. Point sweating like too much, we can adjust. Yeah, try this quick save. Mm -hmm. And now we do the chalk glitch. Yay! <laughs> so, if you were to fall down into this water, you would die because the water in this level insta kills because it's too cold, I think. But you can roll forwards and hold the chalk button, which is K on the keyboard, and that will make Indy use the chalk while rolling, and that makes him. Uh, invincible to the next uh, death floor that he hits, which means so you will survive the water. I will press uh, simultaneously Z and K. Yep. Roll forwards and then hold K. That's what I said. Uh, okay. And now be careful. Hey, what? What? I don't think he used the chalk there. I think... Or we have still have cheats. That's also an option. Uh... uh yeah. <laughs> um, do me a favor and press F10. Uh, I will load first. Yeah. That normally it doesn't... Is it a bullion? 
Uh, tackle it. Underscore Marion. Off. Space off. Yeah. Okay. I, I, th I think it was um, it, it was a glitch that it goes. Wow. That it's it's actually a state you enable then. I mean, I think that's the reason why this is the only cheat that you have on off. Because if you have the, the guy brush cheat, that doesn't have on off. You just type it. Okay. And that one doesn't carry. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm, not sure, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'm not sure that's he a good did it anyway! Okay. But now I think if you cross the door doorway now, I think you will die. Uh, yeah. The way this glitch works is it only affects the next death floor, and if the floor is made out of more polygons, then the moment you go to a new polygon, you die. So I need to uh, to jump. So, so. Yeah, we'll yeah. have to do the the revolver glitch again to go through from the doorway you, you to, to the platform. Quick save here. I'm not joking. You can quick save. Okay. Yep. So this is the the intended quote unquote. And yeah, so the next the second part of the of the trick is to is to uh do the revolver glitch from Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the problem with your setup because uh, every time you load you go into windowed and uh, you jump, but uh, jumping means you land on the polygon again and, and die. Okay, I will not uh, make full screen. <laughs> uh, and so. now you need to do the revolver glitch. But, uh, first, uh, slowly edge yourself to the edge of the this polygon so that you are as close as possible, and make sm every time after every small adjustment, make a quick save. But uh, don't be too greedy with the quick save. You can have the revolver out. That it's probably better because the angle is a bit yeah, steeper. And, and, and hold shift. Uh, I don't think you can walk with shift in, on water. Yeah, you can. I think. No, no, I can't. Since he's with basically shift. walking. No, no, with shift I can't. Okay. Okay, so this was. Yeah, seems we are at the edge. And right now let's try to get a good lineup. I will tell you. Yeah, that should be it, I think. Uh, no, it will bump the wall like this. More right. A little bit more right. Like this? This no, looks yeah, good. Yeah, right. Quick save again. Keep the, the lineup. And now we have to try for the revolver glitch. Uh, I said I said earlier that we need a pretty good Oops. one with Oops. a lot of distance. Yeah, in, not in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you were to task this game, then I, I I suspect that the sideways ones might be better than the forward ones. But they're hard to do on command. But a task could do it. Speaking of tassing, Bizhawk 2.9 should seriously be coming out any uh, moment now, which means N64 TAS will be in production soon-ish. I wonder with the new tricks we discovered in the Game Boy Color, how many minutes we would be able to save. Two. Yeah, two or three minutes max. Oops. Like we, um, I remember uh, when we were talking about in uh, Volcano with the boulder pushing puzzle. Right. So your camera is turning, which sort of messes up the lineup. That's because uh, you hold the turn left key for too long, you only really need to tap it to engage the 
animation of turning and then do the roll forward and okay so it's sort of shoot first and then just turn a little bit and then uh, roll plus forwards but he's getting pretty close I think now you're starting your roll a bit too late in the animation. Isn't he doing his roll too late? Uh, the roll is purely forwards, so he's not. Uh, I think the, the the turning. I mean, the camera is still turning too much, yeah. and the roll is messed up. Or rather, isn't. <laughs> yeah, I. You usually see it at. Um, Oops. Hey, there we go. You usually. See I, we it could at we could adjust for feet. it. We could adjust for the technique and just have him start facing a bit more to the right and hope that it compensates yeah. during the glitch. That would be a good idea. Because. Uh, Usually you see when the glitch starts happening, uh, when his left foot starts to bend inwards instead of outwards. Well, if his left foot starts to bend towards his other leg, that's for me a sign when you successfully executed the messed up uh, animation. Oh no, it's... Uh, let, let's the... try this. Let's try uh, changing your lineup so that you are more right than, than I would be. Because, yeah, this is set up by me. So, uh, Maybe uh, not, not that far right. right. I mean, you saw yourself how much you're turning. It's about, I don't know, 20 degrees. I think this, this is a great lineup. Yeah, but we need to consider the fact that he rotates more left than... Uh... Yeah. Like this? Me yeah, maybe. Oh. Yeah, still pumped the wall. The, the left wall. So we need to start facing more right. So turn a bit right more. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't save the lineup. Uh, like this? Quick save. Yeah, quick save. Okay. There we go. That's the right that, direction. That was bloody close. But it's like, uh, like Ender Rock is saying, you have as good as the movement down, but it's the angle that's off currently. This is very hard, to be fair. Yeah, it's one of the hardest tricks in the whole run. And imagine doing this in ILS in the visual means... level speedrun. Yeah, single segment for the meantime. Oh man. The problem is, we have to get it now, because we've been only quick saving, and they keep overwriting the same file, so. Yeah, but the invincibility cheat can help here if needed. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> fair point. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you are getting too annoyed, just say. What is he doing here? Wow. But uh, is it, it enough uh, to get there? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I have done it several times from there. Yeah, honestly, I think we could walk a bit uh, more left. I think we somehow straight too far to the right edge of the doorway. I think we could get like a meter of distance if we went. Yeah, like this. Keeps quick saving as you're walking. As you fall over. Okay. Looks like a great angle. Oh. That was the closest. Yeah. The the extra distance helps for sure. You could probably take like one. a step further. Yeah. We'd have to get the angle again, but uh, uh, yeah. you you went a bit uh, away from the edge of the polygon. You can if you you turn parallel again, you can go forwards. A bit. Good thing about how the camera zooms, if there's a wall behind you, you can, you can adjust this really precisely. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I can go further. You need to go at a really steep angle compared to the the parallel line that you see on the floor. Like right, Just this? along the... Yeah, if you make a quick save, uh, you will turn the mid to left go straight slightly more right yeah like this if you make a quick save now and just tap the forward key no okay okay so in that case this is probably the best we can do yeah but as you can see Clement you're getting excuse me for this or rather we'd have to go we'd have to go away from the edge and then back again if we wanted to go a bit more left but if we get a if you, if you get a, if you get a if you get a good glitch roll, you can make it from here, I think. Yeah, for sure. Nah, y you got bumped. Yeah, that, that bumped the doorway you. again. So that that's uh, because you move your camera too much to towards the doorway. Yeah, this this is good. This looks good. Now you didn't. It didn't compensate enough. I think you're getting better at the roll glitch because the camera didn't turn that much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now imagine doing this without quick saves. <laughs> Man, you are now uh, teaching uh, <laughs> the worst player. So you are a good teacher. Thank you. <laughs> oui. uh, okay. Uh, there, there's uh, one just funny sort of graphical glitch that we can do here. But from this position, it would involve us backtracking back to the piston room because we needed to do it we need to do it from the the railing there uh, I don't know that's okay. worth it um, so you would probably take the raft here and then go no, uh, up no, up the river can't. you can't I think I think you can no you can't I tried trust me on that in my speed run grinding I tried to take this treasure back, it, it's impossible.
As soon as you hit that part, it's... No. Okay. I'm bad at this level. I'm gonna <laughs> shut the fuck up. Since we're doing speedrun stuff, <laughs> you can, uh, after you exit the raft here, you can face the bridge from down here. Uh, like walk towards it, uh, and then you can just do a standing jump, and Indy will grab it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know the another uh, graphical funny thing in the next level, but uh, I will say when it happens. So now, yeah, the, there's a railing uh, in front of the water, and what you can do is you can uh, crawl. Uh, and you can crawl into the gap between the the end of the railing and the wall. By pressing C. Yeah, C is the crawl button, and you can crawl into here. And now if you stand up, and then walk, that means with shift. Oops, sorry. I totally saw that happening. And now you can put it full screen again. Oh yeah, no more death plane underneath our feet. Yeah, so this is what you do in any percent. You can stand up here, walk towards the edge, and then you can use the raft from here. Wow. <laughs> but it's certainly not funny glitchy. And, and this happens as well. <laughs> well. You can go much further during the loading animation. It... it, it uh, you can go much further during the, the loading animation if you get better physics and sometimes the raft also turns invisible completely so then yeah. you're rafting invisible in Hedian most uh, any percent speed run it's uh, really clearly shown how funny this glitch can be yeah I get I get invisible in the all the time here actually uh, yeah this is an annoying bug on the PC version, sometimes Indy just decides, nope, I'm not gonna exit the raft. And he makes you waste like 5 seconds, or maybe 10 seconds. And then you try again and it works. From the exact same spot. Yep. Oh, also, um, you've just seen it in the little cutscene, but there are two herbs at the other side of uh, the spinny wheel. Yeah, free healing. It's one of the few healing items in this level. Now what? Yeah. Medicinal herbs. Are from the medkits. Uh -huh. Yeah. Medicinal Two medkits if I'm not mistaken. And and the big herb at the start of the level. Yeah. So yeah, now we have all treasures, right? Yeah, we should have. Should have. Yeah. yeah. Stack with cash as well. Okay. And now we have all candles as well. Now. There are. Are there, apart from the spiders and the scorpions, um. And the fish, uh, and the piranhas, and the sharks. A raft repair kit. I think only those animals are a killable, and the hyenas. Hey, a raft repair kit. I don't think I. Really and the this. lizards in lagoon. And you can kill the monkeys as well in temple, but the wolves and the jaguars are unkillable, to my knowledge.
imagine the the meeting. This is a we are Lucas Arts. This is a friendly game. We will not kill animals. We have spiders and snakes and lizards. You mean the meeting, be the meeting between Lucas Arts and Nintendo <laughs> <laughs> and monkeys and sharks. But otherwise, we don't kill anything. And Ethereum bugs. And <laughs> flying orb things. <laughs> and Russians. Oh, sorry. Six cents. I wonder, do, does it actually matter in what order you um, place these candles? No, not at all. Internally, they're just a, a number that increases. So most likely they won't even have like... Uh, like candle A, candle B, candle C, candle D. Maybe only to say which color it is, but... Yeah, the, these things are stupid. Actually, anything is stupid to light up uh, on a PC. You have to wiggle like an idiot every time. Strange place for a windmill. Uh, but it seems that uh, maybe they wanted to do a more complicated puzzle initially. Because otherwise I don't understand why they choose to have different colors for the candles. Yeah, I was gonna say at the beginning, based on the what the the guide says, it just sounds like they cut a bunch from this level. Yeah. Approaching Billboard Sanctuary. Strange place for the window. Oh God! The first sentence. Indy finally penetrates. The secret, <laughs> the sacred, uh, Shambhala secret, Shambhala sanctuary. But something's very, very wrong. Boyous monks once roamed these hollow halls, but judging from the scattered skeletons, the good brothers must have died of quite suddenly. Now the monastery is home to an old, deadly little ice creature that spits icicles at Indy. As he negotiates the layout. What the hell is that sentence? <laughs> Dr. Volotnikov, Soviet minions soon arrive to and add to the chaos. But help for our main man joins comes in the form of a mysterious holy woman, the temple scares taker. She can oh. she she can directly she can direct Indy to the first machine part, but it's exchange for a golden favor. Man, this is more. That's um. Is this eighteen plus? Um. <laughs> Indy's exploration of Shambhala leads him through a fairly nefarious clock tower puzzle. Depending on your difficulty, on a search to the mechanism that can bring back life. Yeah, they can bring back to life to a final confrontation with a massive ice guardian between the Russians and the ice creatures. Jones has his hands full already, but the big, powerful boss central defense arrogance spoiled with cold tenacity. This presents Indy with <laughs> his toughest challenge to date. Man, Man. I'm hoping for a confrontation right between ice monsters and Russians. Man, now I understand why uh, Chat GBT <laughs> gives us uh, that kind of <laughs> scenarios because this is what uh, finds out <laughs> in the past. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was uh, the inspiration for it. <laughs> reading from the book. I think like the I feel like the best use for Chat GPT is code because it's really good at that. Right? 
so this seems like a monastery, but the religion well, is well the at least to is me. Seeing the monastery allow me to say that there is a boss in this level as in um Govich has three records in this level um while i have only two but that doesn't matter um wait three yeah you you did it on any percent pc in 12 minutes 17 seconds all treasures in 25 minutes and 16 seconds and any percent on n64 in one minute flat. oh yeah all cross platforms i see i was like did i forget an, a pc category did we invent something yeah <laughs> all medicine <laughs> <laughs> yeah i Coming only have soon. two nefer what have we here I did the Game Boy Color version of this level in uh, 8 minutes 12 seconds in any percent and just close to 9 minutes in uh, all treasures. It's a fun level to speed run, but it has some moments where if you mess up it's um, game over. Yeah, fun fact, this, uh, this ladder is PC exclusive. Because on the N64, it was early enough in the campaign that this is it. This is one of the levels that theoretically should have gotten polish, and I guess part of the polish was they decided to cut the the leather puzzle. So it's pretty yeah. straightforward on N64, and but here you have it's like a maze, the, the leather maze. And it's I I didn't know it was a maze actually. I found it out pretty easily, but. I just had the luck of going the correct way for in the first time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't blame others for forgetting, because I, I keep forgetting that I even have records in any percent for this level, because that's thanks to the new strat, which is so un-PC-like. Yeah. I, could, I, I occasionally forgot it, it exists. So tell me about that new strat. Whoa. Right, so... Um, We found out that there is some strange collision there. And if you crawl into it at just the right angle, you can crawl your way... I will take a break two minutes, sorry. <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> I yeah, need to take a break. <laughs> we can quickly talk about the new strats. Fine moment to explain. Yeah, so you can crawl through a closed door, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know who found it first at this point, but the inspiration for sure was Blue Screen and his unlocked FPS run, because normally this game on PC has a 60 FPS cap, and we play with the cap and we enforce the cap. In fact, if you speedrun this, you are obliged to have a frame counter visible. Yeah. But yeah, we do using that with F10 frame rate. Yeah, it's in-game frame counter, yeah. not like Riva Tuner or that shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, with a registry hack, you can do enable dev mode, and in dev mode, the the frame limiter is not activated. And so the game runs at unlimited FPS, which uh, can be up to thousands, depending on your machine. I, th I think I had like 500. Yeah, That's I not too bad. 
anyways, back to the... Yeah, the thing about the frame rate is that it speeds up everything. So Indy starts running ridiculously fast, things like that. And it just breaks collision. It's just mildly high FPS. Nothing would really happen and except for slopes start being sticky if you jump into them. But as you get into the hundreds and hundreds and thousands, you can start to be able to, you start to be able to crawl through small mm -hmm. like as in non existent gaps. So for example, the the Marrow skip from N sixty four, if you have thousand FPS on PC, you can do it do the same thing with crawling. You can crawl through the, the locked gate between the hands. You can crawl through basically any any door yeah you crawl into it and the more fps you have the faster the thing about too much fps is it absolutely destroys cutscenes so the only way the game is finishable with unlocked frame rate is you need to have your own frame limiter to go back to the 60 when needed or or 30 i think blue screen did 30 probably i think it enabled adaptive v-sync or something. Anyway, in so inspired can, by that most, speed run, most likely say somebody found out that for some reason on this one door, it just works even at sixty. Mm -hmm. As long as you, well, initially the way they did it is they just crawled into the door at any angle, and when you quick save, mm -hmm. it sort of resets in this position during the crawl animation and so he slowly very very slowly gradually glides into the door and through to the other side but if you crawl into the door at just the right angle you get the same effect but the angle is changing as you go deeper into the door so there is skill in adjusting the angle but the good thing is you can tell it visually because Right, Indy will slide into the. Indy will be doing the crawling animation, and every time he glides forward a bit, the animation resets. The same as if you quick saved. And so, as you are hunting for the angle, you start to see his arm twitching with more and more frequency as the animation is resetting, and he slowly goes forward. And uh, thanks to the sector lighting in the PC version, as he gets deep enough, his color will suddenly switch. And that's how you know you can stand up and you're through to the other side. So that's also really nice. I see here that it saved hmm. uh, that over work. five minutes. Yeah, so I haven't mentioned which door it is. It's the door in the room with the old lady, the one that I, she opens. I was expecting that one. I, I was yeah. about to say the work. boss door. I'm doing something wrong. That's the that's the big uh, that's the obvious candidate and the one that's the most useful. So that means uh, what you need to do in this level is you need to activate the clock as you would normally to activate the lever that opens the pathway between the two towers. But then you can enter the the second tower and you can start doing this glitch. Now because it's really because uh, the glide through the door is really slow. It takes like two minutes to go through the door. But because it saves the entire rest of the level, it's still massively worth it. And so then the only thing you have to do is the boss fight. Yeah. Also, Govich, earlier we were talking about the Revolver glitch. Isn't it used to skip into this uh, window? Oh yeah, you can you can do a revolver glitch through this window to save a cutscene. Here? Yeah. <laughs> if you do the glitch through this window, you will skip a cutscene, so that saves like five seconds. And just to talk about some trivia slash glitchy stuff uh, about this level is uh, I'm gonna look for it. Um, if I find it, but uh, remember when I was speedrunning this level, Kovic, and I 
posted to the Discord something funny I had with the final cutscene. Where the dialogue was actually switched between the both characters. I don't remember that. I am looking for the video. Okay. <laughs> he did it. Nice. Uh, what I remember was... Uh, I don't know if I was doing a full game run. But once I had a, a glitch where I was trying to kill the final boss, but every time I pressed control to use the machine part at him, Indy instead did the animation as if he was trying to open the, the boss door himself. So he was like trying to pull on the on the wooden plank and like, I can't, it's too heavy. And he kept doing that over and over again. I also posted uh, the video of the glitch in Discord and just in chat, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was something where um, for some reason my uh, the sound got all messed up at the end of the level, and um, you survived that. Yeah, I <laughs> I would I would quick load if I were you. Okay. Because you can do it in another broken way. Just turn around 180 degrees. And now backlift this, so roll backwards. Oh. No, no. Uh. Yeah, roll backwards. The rolling backwards is, yeah, it negates all fall damage as well, as long as the plane you land up isn't at that floor. Oops. Uh, but uh, which is the quick turn? Uh, if you hold control, I think, while shift, spinning. Shift, shift, shift. Shift, yeah, shift. Uh, shift? Yeah, you can see that you're turning faster than normally. Okay. It's nothing too too crazy, but it's it's useful. Useful in speedruns. Yeah, it was one of the first uh, tips I have gotten that... Uh, in my earliest runs, I didn't use it at all. And now I have my pinky always very close to uh, the shift key for that reason. The, the, the second main speedrunning tip I would give for beginners is to uh... Did I tell about the glitch with whip and fix me? No, I didn't. I will, I, I will admit I forgot about it completely. Oh. Now, now's a good moment to try it out. It's not going to be useful in this level, but we can try it out. Because we conveniently have a, have a pole here. So, uh, when you're doing the climbing up a whip thing... I will remind you later about the tip you want to save for beginner speedrunners. Yeah. And, and now if you type uh, fix me into the F10 which is the the command for fixing soft locks? Fix what actually me? happens? Yeah. What actually happens is now you can sort of fly if you walk. What? Fix me again. <laughs> yeah, tr try it again. <laughs> you should be able to move during this. 
with a bit more freedom. Yeah, there we go. So you can actually use this to do a sort of canyon landscape on PC. But the thing is, Fix Me is not allowed in speedruns, so we cannot actually use it. Okay, so I will load now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now is the chance to give your beginner speedrun tip, Kovic. Yeah, so um, anytime you want to interact with something, what you what the, the natural thing to do is you run towards it, you stop, and then you start pressing control or whatever, and it doesn't work, because Indy refuses to interact with anything until he uh, completely comes to a stop, because he does this sort of, you know, finish the running animation, kind of like in Prince of Persia. But the thing is, you can uh, avoid this if just before you interact with something, you do a little turn, like a sideways turn, then the sideways thing interrupts the, the stopping thing and you can interact with buttons or pick up items sooner. We're talking like two seconds per item, but it adds up. It adds up a lot. Yeah, every second uh, is a second one. Because, yeah, definitely, because it's not a difficult thing, as in, you know, a really skill intensive skip. And there's a lot of interactions throughout the game, so even though it's a three and a half hour speedrun on the best of paces, if you don't do these things, it's gonna be a four hour maybe. And yeah, the, the ti time saves in this game are super weird, because you're basically oh. gonna end up obsessing about really tiny things. But the thing is, because everything is so slow, like climbing a ledge is a five second deal. So if you can skip a climbing animation somehow, then you just made up a lot of time. If you fail a jump and you have to climb up from some pit and do it again, we're talking 20 seconds easily from a jump. Because everything is slow motion in this game. Climbing a ladder is a thing you need an appointment for. Or two. Like... What's this? Like doing the ladder puzzle what here in the beginning of Shambhala. It's... Why? It, it, it's usually when I uh, still did PC speedrun. It's the moment I took my drink and just moved in the while I took a sip. But Shambhala was one of the levels uh, I think I didn't do in all treasures PC. Oh no, I did. I think it back. Because uh, there was a certain moment when I stopped doing all treasures PC, um, and because I wanted to also uh, complete the Game Boy Color board, and at that moment, Kovic already started by improving all the runs um, of uh, all treasures on PC. Holy sound in a few moments. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, rolling isn't isn't the best idea here.
Uh, Ender, you shouldn't remove my DC speedrunner uh, on the server because I did PC runs and maybe I might return to PC speedrunning but don't know when. And Nathan did one N64 run and he has the role. Uh, you should go back. Uh, if we if we, if we only gave the role to active people, then nobody would have it. Yeah. You should go back, Clements, towards. Um... No, no, really, go back down. Oh, okay. Not the whole way down, but um, there is something you still need to move. Ah, uh, the box, right. Has more sprockets than the inside of that's the cutscene you basically skipped earlier. <laughs> There's no room to maneuver. Also, uh, you could argue um, if we give a role to every version that we make a role like a Game Boy Color speedrunner, and then only three people would have that role, and two people are in this stream. And the other one is smaller talk. Exactly what a blue screen just said in chat. having it in the game by color role, but at first I don't know which color to give and secondly we we aren't that active in speedrunning at the moment so Game Boy color. That's the color. I don't have any key, no? No, not yet. You first need to, to help uh, an old lady. The alien one. No. Wait, we only have two treasures. And we got the one from the door. Uh, yeah. So we're missing a treasure. We didn't get the one in the in the generator room. Oh yeah. Now you mention it, yeah. I totally forgot about that one. Yeah. The one with the stupid moving platform. Yeah. Well it's better on PC because rolls. And quick saves. And quick saves. Uh so I go back. Yeah, we need to go back to the basement and just quickly get the trigger. And find the ghost. Oh no, no, no. Other game. But yeah, it's not actually too annoying to pick up uh, from the top. Phasmophobia will happen soon, guys. So, something else than indie. With blue, me, Kovic, and Clement. I just fall down. You don't take any damage. This ladder is useless. Yeah. But I here, uh, do a quick save and jump to the moving platform. Yeah, that's fine. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you just redo a little part, but. Right, about the, the mechanics in this game, you don't need a run-up, yeah. Because uh, there's a there's a yeah, mechanic in this game Why? where uh, if you are near the edge, Indy will make sure to do a running jump 
perfectly from the edge. No, you don't need to jump towards that. Yeah, go uh, jump to the, the wooden scaffold, uh, the right half, specifically. But we need to get back to the higher up platform. Oh, Chris is going uh, to sleep, so good night, Chris. Good night. Good night. Is that late? Midnight. Yeah, it's midnight here in Belgium. Quick save. Hold on, I quickly and... need to take a look outside since um, two police cars just stopped a bit down my road. <laughs> this start to be interesting now. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and now the other side of this scaffold from here. This is where the treasure is. Oh, I remember. Yeah, you get better collision here on PC, so it should be better. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. And especially now jumping back to the moving platform. As long as you don't bump the lamp above you. Ah. Uh, well, good enough. So, uh, what was happening is um, I'm living in a totally newly built building, um, and the road hasn't been made yet. So, <laughs> it's all um, earth and mud here, but it's also raining like crazy well not as in it's uh, pouring down but it's constantly having light and massive rain and it's very slippery and what happened here is um, some partying people um, slipped and one broke his leg no. So it was a police car and an ambulance actually picking up those guys and a police car just to take notes for uh, the insurance. Now we will find out an interesting thing. Does this game carry momentum on platforms or is the platforms gonna escape from under you? Yes it is. Oh. This sucks. No full screen for you. Joyous music doesn't play a second time. Gotta make your own. Joyous music! <laughs> well, Ender Rock, uh, in Europe you could say Interfall. Oh yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so, it would make Neko Interfallus here. Haha, <laughs> nice. Well remembered. I wasn't sure that works also on PC. <laughs> It also does on that ledge that you were under just earlier. Uh, don't don't do this one. Do the other one. I think depending on the difficulty, this puzzle is harder or easier. Yeah, the time you have to get the bell should decrease.
I would take uh, the red diamond treasure in your way back. Yeah, I'd get the bell out of the way first, so if you pull the lever again and then ru rush all the bell stuff. Yeah, I don't think on uh, difficulty 4 you have the time. Uh, we'll see. Should test it out. Yeah, I'm quite sure you don't have. Uh, yeah, but I don't remember what I should I do now. <laughs> yeah, now j jump uh, on these platforms so that you get to the... Uh, it's a the other. The forward jump. Jump around, we need to get to the opposite side from here. So you need to go around, this is too long. Wow. Oh, and there, what you might be hearing is there is also um, some heavy wind here. And one of the windows behind me is broken. So they are going to replace that next week. But um, it's not fully uh, closed yet. With all the um, rubber and everything to keep a window in place so it's most likely that that you're hearing in the background but i was silently hoping it wasn't that uh was also watching a show. Oh, oh otherwise, uh, meanwhile, I can also tell an other reason why there was such a delay between the N64 version and this version of the streams. So, after I moved, um, some ISP jankiness happens. And um, I moved around the um, holid past holidays, and um, the end of February we had a, a week off here in Belgium. And I planned my move in that week, and I asked my ISP from that day to install uh, the internet in my new apartment. But here is the annoying part. They moved to a new system and the Unix programming is a bit off. So they made from the 24th of February, they made the 24th of March. <laughs> so I go to com to complain, I get a new install date, the 16th of March, and then I break the news in the Discord, like, I'm sorry guys, I can't go start up um, at the 24, um, before the 16th of March. And then on the 16th of March, they come and install uh, my internet here. But they activate it on my old address. In the meantime, I already um, did the work with the um, city services to move my official address to my new spot. And they took two weeks to change my address in their system. But I couldn't get um, streaming earlier because also COVID happens to me, so... Ah. That's a bit of a background story of um, why the delay happened for... I think we ended in mid-February.
And yeah, just some bad luck. <laughs> For sure, you won't have enough time now to do and the bell and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, COVID didn't happen to me. Oh, did you also get COVID? Did you also get COVID? COVID. <laughs> No, I did not get uh, COVID. That was not why I was ill. I think the first one was uh, a regular season of fever. And then I got something in my stomach, some stomach back or infection. Ah, uh, that's a bit shite. Okay. I think you can use your whip at the level platform to go up faster. Uh, here? No, 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 at the platform where you pull uh, the lever for the clock, start the clock. No, 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 no. I'm only a humble speedrunner, but my whole shtick in this area is to avoid the whip like the plague. Yeah. I think I need to restart it because <laughs> it took too much time. Oops. Yeah, and you still need to do the whole bell. I think you can use the whip to move up here. That's what I usually do. But the stress uh, that Kovic does is also very nice. And what I do is in the middle of the bridge here, I jump up to grab the latch. And now to save some time, um, go stand in front of the pit. Yeah, and turn 180 degrees. And just do a back roll. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can't hit anything line? before the backwards roll animation finishes because uh, the reason it works for fall damage is that uh, after the backwards roll animation is uh, completed in this momentum is reset so he still falls but he doesn't take damage because it's a very tiny fall
Ah. Why aren't the... Uh... I don't have the bridge. <laughs> yeah. It's because you... What? So much damage. That's a lot of damage. But guys, what are we doing? I am confused. Uh, I forgot to press uh, a button, I guess. And I didn't hit the bridge. Yeah, it's the button you see at the Are left. Are you trying to get the gem first? Uh, no, but I don't need the bridge to... But you can just jump over the gap. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, you can jump that gap and still eat quick saves. Nice. Oh, uh, what no? <laughs> uh, you can go down here and then whip up again. Now, have you pulled the lever already to open the gate? Uh, I guess. I guess not. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's not needed right now. Yeah, now, usually if you turn, like, uh, before, but don't hit the bell now, maybe quick save. Yeah. Yeah, you hit the bell just that he, he didn't line up. I think just, yeah. I, I do sure? it from a different place than, than this. Okay. If you want to entertain my lineup, uh, exactly. I stand next to the entrance into this tower. Like this? Ne 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 next to it. That means sort of uh, at the edge of the doorway. Like here? Yeah. Uh, try to oh, yeah. uh, line yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, up yeah. Uh, more right so that you are away away from the bell. You, you cannot hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you take damage from the bell. So... Like this? Uh, I don't know why you moved right. The, the lineup was perfect. I just wanted you to rotate a little bit. Like this? Yeah, try it like this. Uh. 
<clears throat> well, that was strange. Did the hitbox go like, I'm gonna expand for a moment to fuck this streamer over? <laughs> By the way, your time is up because the statue isn't spinning anymore. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're here. Let's do yeah. the bell thing. Quick, sir. If you drop down there, Indy takes a bot. He won't recover from. There's some writing etched in the now, bronze. The more, for the most master. annoying thing here is um, As I remember, if you ring for the master, the hour. there's a treasure underneath that bell. I don't want to wait around on till this high platform. Noon. And I say that because it's easily missed. What? What? What was that? <laughs> oh, Rich, can we explain this? I don't think so. He remembered that. that... He said, no, no way, you cheated. <laughs> Have you ever seen that happening? You don't need to open that door, by the way. That door is just world building. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, it's like Revenge of the Dead Plane. <laughs> yeah, let's not go around the bell. Let's just pull the lever and get the bell of the fuck out of there. It will be interesting if he will be able to get that treasure. And it should be fine once the bell is away. Indeed, like Miro, um, Murray is saying, There's some the bell is lava. The bronze. Ring for the master. And the floor around it too. As I remember, bells are rung on the hour. What time is it? I don't want to wait around till high noon. Uh, okay. Uh -uh. I wonder if you actually would be able to kill those uh, victims. Or if those ice monsters are immune to the whip. Yeah, normally you enter this area through those, um, through that window. Okay. <laughs> and now you can do F10. And fix me. Now there is another ladder you can use.
now I think it's best um, before we go to back that we go back the whole way down for the treasure. It won't work since the statue isn't spinning anymore. What? <laughs> I think Hello. the whole thing is just broken. Well, that's right, I did. And you want my help? Do I? To tell you the truth, I'm kind of lost. But it is you who must help me. As you have guessed, a man from the desert came to us long ago with the spinning idol. For That's the alien lady from N64. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, and I oh, yeah. <laughs> Not broken. Show me the way. I am too old and infirm. <laughs> to be of any service, I must recover my fortune. I expected you make a sign with the giant what the fuck. golden treasure. Okay, golden treasure. Where is it? Why? In the treasury, of course. <laughs> Take this. Or? It may help you. We get much better character models for both of these characters on the PC. Because they, they got simplified on the N64. To reference for uh, N64. some reason. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, yeah, apart from, from the memory glitch. True. I think, I think they have fewer polygons. I mean, Indy has for sure, because his hands look ridiculous in the jacket model on N64. <laughs> But I, I, I seem to recall the the old lady also is simplified. What? Oh, G Force wants to join. Howdy. <laughs> is backwards yeah. roll your G Force experience, Hotkey? What happened there? Uh. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, probably. And now oh, look, we have a frame counter. <laughs> a legal speedrun. Okay, um, I start live splits. What have we here? This is such an annoying part of the all treasures run. This climb down or this way down and then the climb all the way back up. The three appointments you need to make for the ladders. Now, um, I think it's at the left side, the... Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> the amount of times I have been wrong <laughs> in this stream. <laughs> what the hell? Look what I found. Yeah, what, what's wrong, kitty? You want, you want that? Can I do that right? Oh man. Look. You wanna go outside? But it's raining outside, but you don't like rain. Oh, you know, it worked.
Now, isn't here some crazy speedrunner uh, tricks also possible to skip some stuff in this room? In any case, um, if you want to see some uh, some funny uh, visual stuff a bit later with the cheeks, I will show you. It's got an idea. We could I need to like, line collect here. all the stuff and play through it like normally and then try crawling through the door anyway, once we have the plant. Yeah. For the, for the full experience. It's some kind of switch. Now, I wonder, and that's something I'm gonna test tomorrow or something, um, there, at the treasure, you m might m not miss, um, that goes down into a trap. I wonder, this would you be able right. to survive this by using the chocolate? Uh... Possibly. Would you be able to get out, though? Now what? An idol. I don't know how deep the hole is. Yeah, you won't be able to get out. Not even with Fix Me. But, uh... <laughs> Now, you want to see something visually interesting? Clamped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, quick save after you kill the spider, preferably. Okay. Ah. Too late. Okay, now, uh, just use. Okay. Now, poison kid is fine. Now, if you turn a bit later in this hallway, just go in the hallway a bit. Something's okay. wrong here. Now, if you just quick save here. Now, if you activate that trap, I think it will be quite obvious what you need to do. See? Now you. Now there is one move you can use to move under it. Now, that's the solution to the puzzle. If you want to see the funny stuff, come out of the crawl and enable the invincibility cheat. By uh. T A K, yeah, and it's called Mariam. On. And now just walk into the trap. Seriously, just walk into it. Huh? And jump. Jump? Yeah, jump. Or use the whip. Too bad Kovic is uh, filling up his water bottle. <laughs> uh, you will be able to fix this uh, janky stuff, but 
yeah, you can now e uh, equip your weapon. That will magically appear in these apps. <laughs> <laughs> It's even funnier when you use your <laughs> weapon switch for all the weapons. <laughs> you fix it by um, starting a climb animation. So it basically works only in this hallway. Right, so now it's... Go, uh... <laughs> look! Flat indie. Yeah. <laughs> uh... It doesn't Any do anything, no. <laughs> I need to load. No, you, you don't have to. It doesn't move anymore. Oh, you don't move anymore? Yeah. It's blocked. <laughs> and if you um, do F10? Uh. It's done. <laughs> oh, crash. <laughs> yep. So what happened? <laughs> what did I you miss? Can you can show Kovic flatly. Da wrong button. Needed new game instead of resume game. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the Gatson should be skippable with escape. Uh, I don't know. It's literally called quick save. Also, did you know the extension of uh, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine quick save uh, saves is the same extension? As Nintendo DS ROMs. I know that because I will need that for an Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings and the S speed run. Uh, should we do this uh, again? Yeah. Uh... To show in to show Kovic the flat indie. Okay. Uh, By now enabling the uh, invincibility code. Ah, uh, you did invincibility shenanigan. No, that, that it's okay. I don't need to see it again. Let's okay. play the game. No, 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 no. And I saw the results. Yeah, but the with the whip, it's funny as fuck. <laughs> Why does he get hit though? Huh? What happened? Oops. Uh... Yeah, enter. Okay. And now just uh, get out of the crawling. And walk into it, yeah. Okay, now keep moving. And now equip the whip, for an example. The whip doesn't know where to swing. And if you pick another weapon, it just magically appears in Indy's hands. I also tried it with the um, all weapons cheat. And it's um, pretty jank. Yeah. It's really interesting that the bullets really do fire out of the gun, because if you uh, there's a, another glitch mm -hmm. that just happens sometimes. I don't know why, where Indy's hand just gets uh, slightly the the twisted. Uh, oh. <laughs> there's a there's another glitch where Indy's hand j gets just a little twisted. Yeah, you, and you can tell that when he's idle, 
his hand is just like like this. But and if you try to use like a revolver in that state, he and, just and, fires and, the bullets completely. The uh, invincibility cheat. Somewhere else. Hmm. That didn't quite work. Don't forget to disable the invincibility cheat. Uh oh, it's funny. Now, um, before you go up, you might be able to pick up the treasure. And I'm gonna let Troy go outside because he's... Hold on. I sense a trap. Oops. Mm. Ah. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's do it the usual way. died to the trap. Yeah. <laughs> I sense a trap. Magical moments happened in chat. <laughs> Aha, an idol. Oh yeah, you didn't pick up the seal. Oh, uh, there's a from key where? here. I just need the key. I know from where. You need to go back down. Go back to the room with the statue. Troy, come on. You wanna go outside or stay inside? It's getting cold here. Okay. You wanna stay inside? Don't bite my headset cable. We already have the the, the seal? No, we haven't. Ah. got distracted by treasures and invincibility shenanigans. I see. Now, 
There is a whole side room. Oh, oh, oh. Kovic, we can do the cursed book thing. Do you know by by heart um, which book it is? Oh. Uh, I think we did it on N64 too. It's the yeah, one yeah. upstairs. Oh, it. I thought it was a PC exclusive thing. Sometimes languages are a very funny thing, and just to have a snack, I have some sour gummies here. Uh, you you want to know how they call them in French? Um, le gummy acide, written as um, the gummies acid. I'm literally not joking. Acidic gummies. Yeah. Come on, focus. What have we here? Medicinal. Uh, what What does it look like? Can the camera make that out? Mm. Uh. Yeah, those kind of gummies. But um, come on, focus. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. Nickel. Now, wasn't there uh, a treasure here? Yeah. Uh, which... Uh... Should be the third Indiana Jones game that will include in our uh, pool Good. after after uh, we'll uh, finish this one. So the first two uh -huh. they are Fate of Atlantis and uh, Staff of Kings seal. on Wii. What about Indiana Jones and his dust of adventure or something like that? Hate those that would be interesting, I guess. Um, I mean, it will be interesting to make it run, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that game is, gameplay-wise. What do you even do there? It's a roguelike adventure. Huh. And there is also a Star Wars version made. I think it's Yoda's adventure or something. Hmm? I suggest you try the bed outside this room. That that one is meant for it. Blue Fate of Atlantis is already one of the three options. No, just a stationary jump from the bed. Uh, you'll see. Oh, yeah, backwards. From the give or take the middle. Troy, what are you doing? If you're gonna bite into cables. And there's a there's a really bad NES game. There's a. We don't talk Look about Temple of Doom. There's a there's a SNES game, which apparently was already featured at GDQ. Yeah, um, I played it and it's fine, but it's just hard. There's also an. A young Indiana Jones game. I don't know if that one is. Uh, that's probably also NES. Uh, no, 
no it's nice and it's also um a uh, second set friend but it's one of the lowest rate games on that platform it is I was pretty jank. You also have uh, Indiana Jones and Lush Crusade. Yeah, that one. <laughs> but then we'll uh, have... The, the uh, point and click one? Uh, yeah, but then we'll have Preferably. only bad games. So, I uh, I mean, <laughs> we should mix a bit good and bad games. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you still ever want to do the Half-Life? Or have you done that already in Romanian? Uh, no, I did just a presentation video in Romanian, so it, when you can, I waited uh, for your signal. <laughs> oh, we could make a third game Phasmo, for, for the fun of it. Uh, Half-Life, uh, it's interesting because uh, it has a ray traced mode now, and uh, it completely changes the way uh, it looks, the original version, I mean. And uh, Kovic, I know that uh, uh, you did some speedrunning for Half-Life, or at least for Black Mesa, I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't it I run the expansions, oh, you run out of uh, the small kit, so now it's eating the big one every time. Oh, um, has he, no, uh, has he picked up the treasure? The, no, I don't, uh, you... I have nine treasures. Yeah, you forgot one in there, I think. Uh, okay. No, 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 you didn't forget anything. The last one is in the the room with the rafters behind the block. True, yeah. Keep calm and carry on. Uh, so now we need to go uh, downstairs again. Into the uh, to open the door with the monastery cross, not down here, the other down there. Uh, people are also saying in chat maybe give Lego Indiana Jones a chance that we could play co op, but I think only two of us. It's not a three player game. Uh, is it? Is that? Does that have multiplayer uh, uh, online or only local? That's a good question. Uh, which one? Uh, the Lego games. Ah, Lego. Yeah. Uh, okay, so where should I go now? Okay. I don't. Go know. into the treasury. And go into the area with the the hammer in the corridor. You know that one under the statue. Oh. So back here. Yeah. Can we appreciate how good the lighting in this room is? God damn it. Uh, some, uh... Here. Yep. Okay. You can just fall down. There's no damage. With tricking our internet that it's local, that we are connected local, we could make it work. So it has LAN only. Yeah, but it supports those programs like Parsec to um, trick it so we can. Antidote. Play. Uh. It's uh, even on uh, PlayStation 3? Uh, I own it on PC, for example. You played the con a console version. If the, if the emulator has net play, then that would be even simpler. Uh, the um, Xbox version, for example, I'm reading here uh, only has co-op. Local co-op. And PlayStation 3? Probably the same. Mm. 
I'm looking. I don't remember if a PlayStation yeah. three or a three or four, uh, you could invite uh, some of, of your friends. Four. Yeah, it's four. four, no? Yeah, okay. And you could uh, basically play uh, co local co-op with uh, online in uh, online mode. Uh, okay, so uh, I will go up there again. Mm -hmm. I, I'm uh, completely distracted now. <laughs> Apparently, the the PlayStation Three emulator has netplay features, but no one has tried Lego Indiana Jones on it yet. Online. Single player, it works fine. I, I know I played it. It fits. So yeah, it wouldn't but, be. It uh, wouldn't be real hardware, but it, it's an option. Would netplay emulate local? Yeah, you you would uh, you would connect uh, over the internet to uh, to emulate the uh, being there in person with a second controller on the on the real hardware. Well, technically it's not emulation, but as a network engineer, I will shut up. Otherwise, I will go too technical and maybe get terms wrong. But it's basically the reason why VPNs are in, were invented. To create a separate network between two persons and... No, I'm talking emulation from the sense of the, the PlayStation hardware, not yeah. uh, network-wise. Yeah, but I'm talking about the underlying uh, networking mechanics. Ah. Uh, and the uh, PC version, it's uh, available digitally? It's on Steam. Ah, okay. Then I guess it's the best version, anyway. Graphically speaking. Danger. You could skip that um, beam that's about to break, right? Yeah. You can jump from here to there. Imagine that when you jump over it, it also oh. breaks. Uh, the lower part of it. Load. Ah! <laughs> what? Uh, you need to jump to the lower part of the beam. If you try to jump to the uh, to the raised part, it's that's too far and also too high. True. So from here, there? Yeah, that way. Okay. Unfortunately, the angle was too too off. Yeah, it was too diagonal for Indy, and he didn't want to grab. So uh, go m closer to the right edge of this platform. That was nice. Right, and now uh, we need to get the key from this room. Watch out for a spider. It's gonna come from the ceiling. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. After you picked up the. Oh no. Oh ah, uh, no, no. It just, it just ah. bit you. I thought it only appeared after you uh, picked up the key. Oh, it just tends to do that if you're speedrunning because uh, by the, before you before it lands, you already have the key in your hey. pocket. A key. No. Ah. Oh. Maybe with a backwards roll, but that would be too far. You could uh, break it, but. Uh... What do you say? Break it? <laughs> Insert blue screen joke here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> now it's like fully fucked. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. How do I move? Uh, yeah. Cl uh, close application. No, it doesn't work. How do I move? Uh, uh things uh, to the foreground. Uh, no, no. I I want to move to another uh, screen because I have three monitors. <laughs> But I don't uh, remember the command. Is yeah. uh, Windows uh, X or I don't know? No, uh, no, no, no. I mean, it's uh, Windows arrows key, I think. Okay. So we need to go to this one. Huh? Yeah, this is it. Uh, okay. A good thing it crashed in windowed mode. I don't if you were dealing with either. the full screen on top of this, then you would be royally fucked. No, because uh, uh, I can do this. If you have, uh, if you have uh, multiple monitors, you can move the task manager uh, window on another monitor. This is what I did now. Yeah, but only Basically. if the if the game's ancient DirectX or whatever context lets you move your mouse. Which we wouldn't necessarily need have to happen if it was in full screen, but it wasn't. Uh, okay. I can jump up there, I guess. No. You wish. <laughs> but isn't there a speed running? Speed? Yeah, there's a skip. We did it on N64 too. Uh, you can jump diagonally. Uh, From here to the, the balcony. Okay. And now you can spam F5 and try it more easily. That's a no. I would just uh, start from being closer to the edge again, because uh, on PC the grabbing is less forgiving than on console. You need to be more flush with the wall in order for Indy to grab it. Like, he's never gonna grab it like this. Because he's too oh, diagonal. Yeah, because now... Because we did a few skips, everybody in chat is saying, do the skip, do the skip. <laughs> For a great success. For a fun stream. Yes. Have a casual player do skips. <laughs> Whoa. The amount of uh, Let's get the treasure first. 
perhaps. Yeah, the amount of times I jumped as Actually, a no, let's get the flower first. No, no, uh. let's get the treasure first. No, no, let's get the flower first. No, with the flower, the Russians spawn and they have an angle to that beam. Yeah, but we can shoot him. Fair enough. Unless those rifles bug out the game, since trying to shoot that without uh, a big weapon is... Uh, Ain't fun. Yeah, uh, try it again. Uh, it is, it's a silly button. Not good. There. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Oh, oh, skip it. Ah, well, but <laughs> when it's blue screen in the audience. Whoops. Uh. Hopefully, no crash. Ow. Aren't uh. there two guards? I was gonna say, on N64, there are certainly two guards. No, on PC as well, to my knowledge. Yeah, evidently, he's not there. <laughs> yeah, you can just drop uh, this drop down on this beam. You can drop down. Yeah, push the block in. Yeah. It's one of the treasures I always forget that exist. Oh, uh, which a block? Blo yeah, it's by behind you. You can oh, see the grab oh, okay. with some... Yeah, it's a uh, stealth block. The Lara Croft block. <laughs> yeah. And now you can uh, roll into the water, preferably by not hitting a beam. And now it doesn't matter which way you go, but stay in the water for time safe. I guess it's the first time uh, this game is streamed in 4K. Possibly. I mean it. <laughs> I'm not sure even uh, videos, uh, I mean recorded on 4K. And we are even doing some speed running stuff and some uh, visual invincibility jank. I would be surprised if it budged. Yeah, now you need to jump up to that beam. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are you going all the way around? Uh. You can jump on this ledge that's possible too but that's a further jump That's for later. Uh. 
Okay. Yeah. These jumps always make me afraid during a run. While they are easy jumps, but... Nah, that's for later. Oh, uh, okay. So, Kovic, remind me, did I show how you can get softlocked without the invincibility cheat here? In the N64 part? After you lowered the flower basin? The flower thing? Kovic, is this called Freeze? Look, the second book of Aristotle's Poetics. Okay. You don't see that on every shelf. Seem to be lagging a bit. Yeah, it, 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 it almost looked like you froze. Oh yeah, um... Clement, don't One forget minute. to shoot the other window. Uh, what window? Go to the other door. This is a dead end, but there's a window to the outside over there. Yeah, it's been shot. Shoot that bastard. Now, if you climb to the whole end of this ridge, the Russians in the courtyard will start shooting you. Even that high up, they find you. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> uh, a lovely hall of mirrors there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, including with some enemies. No, 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 you still have a whole way to go. You will recognize it from the top texture. Yeah, there it is. This might work as a flower pot. Now, if you want to see a soft lock. can quick save and walk straight ahead in that order preferably I remember you told us about this but uh, it didn't happen <laughs> in uh, on N64 no yeah I hope if I remember correctly <laughs> true and if you don't walk right into the chain Indy drops down but can't climb back up anymore So if you walk not into the chain but at the sides, Indy should drop down. And die. I didn't know he died. What? <laughs> I think you clicked a button lower. From restart level, but you can now preservate. Don't forget. 
Get the healing items. Hint, hint, not much. Aha. Medicinal herbs. Now what? So, if these Medicinal herbs, herbs were laying on that scale, that scale was off balance. So now we jump to the beam again. And now we use something Kovic has in real life. So I just wonder, can you actually use that with Kovic, or is it just as a prop? Uh, use what? Sorry? Your whip. In real life, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, if I'm skilled with it, no. now too low to whip back over but you can just yeah there's a weird buck after you oh, the collect the flower and one buck uh it probably happens only in the speedrun it's some it must be connected to the cogs going on but every time in the speedrun i collect the flower the camera is slightly lower than normally I think it stays like that until I climb a ledge. Now we go oh. going to um Ah Yeah Come if on. you whip it you whip his um gun out of his hands. And he goes into punchy mode. That's quite rare to see the, um, the health orb fully in one color. So now we are going to propose to an old lady, sort of, kind of. Or do the skip. That's possible too. Do the skip, do the skip, do the skip. <laughs> Rather you than me, man. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Since we already do have the flower, we're gonna waste time doing the skip. Uh... I'm gonna get myself a drink. But if you if we want to show it off, then we can we can do it. Okay. So yeah, but first we need to go into the tower, so uh, climb climb this tower. Also, when you have the flower, doesn't it go automatically, the cutscene? I know, you have to uh, talk to her with control, so as long as we ignore her, it should be fine. We should uh, ignore her, because uh, otherwise uh, she will transform. <laughs> into aliens. From, from, the, <laughs> from an alien to a crystal skull. <laughs> Only real indie fans will get this joke. Well, fans between quotation marks, but because we don't talk about that, um, that, that one thing that came out.
But Elden Rock I didn't uh, didn't see the movies. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, go back towards the bridge, you can jump from the bridge towards the top. Ignore the, ignore the woman percent, uh, that's, that's easy. I also do it in real life. Okay. <laughs> oh, approach the giant door. Now I'm gonna sit back, sip my drink, and enjoy. And uh, go to the right edge of the door. And uh, now start crawling. And uh, just one second. I need to consult uh, my own run. I have a kitty. Yep. So, uh, crawl into the corner of the bar here. So, towards the left. Basically, crawl left until the, in these tops. Uh, like this? No, 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 along the wall, like diagonally. Uh, like this? Yeah. Okay, and now you need to adjust your angle. I think more right. Keep crawling, but adjust your angle slowly until you see in the twitching. Uh, that's too far right. Go turn more left. So it's always, the angle is always going to be going into the corner here. Uh... Turn more left. Are you still holding forwards? No. Uh, you keep holding forwards. That's important. What do you mean? Because this is a toggle. Forwards as in forward key. Oh, okay. Arrow key. And keep crawling left, not right. right. And you see Indy is doing this sort of flicker. And every time he flickers like this, he goes slightly inside the door and so you want to find a, an angle very small adjustments so that he flickers as often as possible and eventually he will crawl through the door if you want to speed this up you can just spam quick saves and that will make this whole thing faster so if you hold forwards and indy is flickering at least a bit and you spam f5 you will speed it up One week later. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, don't worry. You will not go backwards unless you really press backwards. But I, I think it is becoming obvious that he's really going inside the door. And yeah, just keep at it. And in about one minute, we should be through. Maybe even faster. And <laughs> once he changes his color... He will be on the sector on the other side of the door. It's like Blue is saying. Three minutes just to stay five minutes. In my run, I started at five. Uh, 18, 5, 5, 19, and I was done at 7.59, so it's 2 minutes and 40 seconds. But you never... Uh, adjust uh, left a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay. 
No, I, I, no, I want just to make a little a, bit more. I want to make a joke, but it's not PG thirteen. Something <laughs> about a fetish. <laughs> And in my speedrun, I did it without spamming the save load, so... It would be a massive plot twist if the rifle on his back changed something, but I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah, we're going deeper. It's working. I'm so holding back making non-PG-13 jokes. Imagine someone enters now the stream. <laughs> Especially when the camera stands in that device. <laughs> so, what did you do today? I I ran the virtual indie through Oops. an object. We're there. Okay, and now I'm keep. Uh... Uh, I would hold it still because okay. we don't want to. Can I adjust a little bit? Yeah, we're, we're through. Yes. <laughs> and now, quick save. Oh no, you forgot the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. You know, I think I'm what... going to make it in chat. What have we here? This is a joke I wanted to make, but... Lock first. You cannot continue. And um, when did you just quick save? Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. And when did you last quick save? Uh... Before the jump. Pretty sure. Ah, okay. Oh, no, you're perfect. You want to go into the tower that's to your left first, but I think there's some healing here on the shelf. Yeah. No, there is. Yeah. Ah! On the table. Not here, no? No, no, the, the, the last tower you didn't visit. There's also healing here. 
on the floor. Ah, it's on the table. It's on the floor in N64. They must have cut the tables. Medicinal herbs. Or the tables must have like... No, there's already enough junk on me. Hey, why don't we move backwards so that you can run past the block? Yeah. But a very similar glitch and we did on the N64 version is also possible here. To go and the glitch the... to skip Yeah, uh, the glitch to skip the block on PC is burst. And it's also kinda of frame rate dependent. Uh the way it works is you try to grab the block from the very very edge of it and you push it forwards and it for some unknown reason what the block does is it just floats up right it raises up and you can crawl under it what's this medicinal herbs and now uh, going to Ergon's spot is a lot easier. The first time I played this casually, I actually also forgot to move that block and instead of reloading a save, and doing the easy way, I actually did it with the new obstacles, the jumping. And it's challenging having uh, the Ice Guardian follow you around everywhere. You backward scout. As soon as I close my door, Troy wants to come inside. When I open my door to let them inside, he wants to stay outside. But I'm not gonna leave this open. What's this? Part of the infernal machine. I'm not going to that joke incoming. I'm not paying the he to heat the whole neighborhood. Imagine now that the budding plant is the ultimate way to kill the Ice Guardian. I would either mash the tool button or heal. So, are we going to do the fifth level in the stream as well? Well, it's almost 2 a.m. here. I would Success. personally uh, be fine with uh, ending the stream. That was a useless heal, oh, literally at the yeah. end of the level. Yeah. Okay, it was uh, long enough, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, healthy five hours. I think. Our yeah. usual. <laughs> Our usual. <laughs> Here, I guess this belongs to you. No. Now this cutscene is running normally. What is it anyway? No, I don't know. A relic. You have found part of something. <laughs> Look at the texture on the machine part, except the part yeah. where it wraps There's around. Be more of these things. So. Although Ergon dwells here, you have the line twice. His companion Other than that, very sexy. Onward to the eastern ocean. There he took advantage of a people starving. Something for tells me Kelvin is talking about game the Pacific. It's a wide stretch like of water. That. Look for a tropical island among many others where men have lived for eons uncounted. They call it Palawan, I believe. Follow this path. Now there is a video out there floating on the web where somebody was able to explore around here. Really? Yeah. I don't know how to do it on PC, but on N64 you can you can glitch there. I think we even did that on our N64 uh, playthrough. Wow, we have a normal frame rate <laughs> on this level. It was <laughs> abysmal on N64 this level. If you remember the frame rate. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hard to believe anyone living here would sign up for the I troubles will of civilization. Open next time with the section on Palawan Lagoon. And it's quite girty. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, next time we'll also have the, the bazooka fix. And this level, because it's so large and open, it's the best one to try the bazooka. Because you can really enjoy it, you'll see. Okay. Uh, and I will do also a quick save. <laughs> To be sure, but we all. Oh no, I did the load, not a quick save. <laughs> yeah, you no, have good thing anyway, you have the chapter save. Yeah, anyway, I I uh, made a, a regular save. Uh, okay, uh, this is it for tonight. I'm glad that uh, finally we are uh, able to stream again, <laughs> and uh, Kovic uh, is looking good. He's not ill anymore. <laughs> And you too. <laughs> so uh, we are uh, good to to stream again next week. And uh, yeah. it's it seems that uh, it's uh, we are quicker. I'm quicker than <laughs> last time. I don't know. But that's my impression that we did uh, yeah, more. Also, we did a lot of um, trying of speed running skips. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, then uh, next week uh, at the same hour on Friday we'll be back with uh, Infernal Machine <laughs> to do 3-4 exactly. levels we'll see <laughs> thank you everyone for being here and uh, we'll see you next week bye 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 <laughs>